This is our town. Welcome! Welcome to episode 194 of Value Town. I'm Chain Man V, and joined today by two guys I haven't seen in a little while, Firebat and Dr. J. So I'm really happy to have them here to discuss the final day of our card reveals. So this is like when we get the fire hydrant in the face with all the <laughs> all the cards. Uh, but welcome to the show, guys. How you guys doing? It's doing pretty good. I thought Firebat was going to talk first, so I like, waited for <laughs> Firebat, <laughs> and then he didn't. So, <laughs> no, I'm doing pretty good. I've been enjoying, uh, you know, reveal season. It's always fun to kind of, like, speculate over the new cards, see who's wrong, see who's right, and <laughs> kind of laugh at each other, like, a couple weeks down the road. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been pretty good as well. Really bored of the current metagame, so really excited <laughs> for the cards coming out. What? You're the so, only one. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. I, in order to get myself motivated to play Hearthstone in the current meta, um, I roleplay as Rexar and I have a bow and arrow, and I <laughs> play every time something we, good happens. We have a Q&A question like, that's specifically for you about your okay. cosplaying recently. <laughs> So we'll definitely get to that at the end. You got to keep things fresh, right? You know? <laughs> well, it's good to hear that you're, you know, you're not like streaming artifact all of a sudden. You know, you're you're still staying at least in the Hearthstone theme of of cosplaying and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so today, guys, this is the day that uh, if you guys didn't catch the uh, stream earlier with the card, the final card review uh, reveal with uh, Kibler and Ixar. Uh, but we got like a ton of cards to talk about. We're trying to organize it as best we can so we can get it all in. Um, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. We got Q&A at, Q &A at the end, which some of you guys have sent questions for. But if you guys want to send yours in, go ahead and tweet that to uh, at ValuetownGG, and we'll try to get to them at the end. Uh, but I've split them up into classes. You know, I figure we should just get into it now since there's so many. Split, split them up into classes, and at the end with the neutrals, we'll probably have to just like... You know, check out one of the, uh, the websites, you know, whether it's Facebook or or where or Hearthburn or whoever that actually has uh, all the, the cards that were announced or, or weren't shown in the stream. And we can talk about them. Uh, but did you guys catch the stream earlier? Just the reveal stream with uh, the two guys? I got a little bit of it. Um, mm -hmm. I was watching it for the most part. I was grinding ladder and I had it off on like my other monitor. Yeah. And uh, I remember Kibler talking about how he was like trying hard not to burn cards this time. Because, you know, they gave him one job last time oh, and ended up burning the best card of the set. So, <laughs> uh, I just, I, I really enjoy the humor that goes into it. You know, they have a lot of fun with it, a lot of, a lot of jokes. So, I really enjoyed it. I haven't seen it yet. I, I, I was <laughs> planning on watching streaming it. the whole time. I forgot that it was happening, and then I started streaming, and then it started happening. And uh, I can't, like, watch it while I'm... I guess I could have watched it while I was streaming. But, yeah, people were, like, messaging in my stream. They're like, why aren't you watching the card review? And I was like, oh, I can't turn it off now. I've already been streaming for, like... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, mi I missed the first 10 minutes of it, too, because I was just like, wait, wait. Oh, it's actually on right now. So I, I, I uh, ended up missing, yeah, the very beginning. I think the, the first half of the first game I, that I didn't end up seeing, but... Uh, caught up on the cards though, so this might be the first time. Obviously, Firebat, you know, he'll, he's the first time seeing a bunch of these cards. Mm -hmm. So just take that into account, guys. You know, we haven't been like studying these things and coming up with the you know most crazy, uh, um, you know, just analysis of it. It's more, more going to be like our first impressions of the cards. Uh, but why don't we get started? Let's uh, go ahead and go over here. Uh, again, I kind of started with uh, you know this this kind of grouping of, of classes since it seems to make sense to talk about the classes first. Um, you know, we reviewed a bunch of cards last week, so we're not going to talk about any any old ones, but we'll reference them. But with Rogue, we've got these four cards that were um, announced this week. So we've got uh, so I, I think what we should do, guys, is, is do like um, a keep, a dust, or a meme card. I guess those three classifications. We can just kind of like just classify these cards what we think you know if they're bad or they're good or you know they're the purpose of it is pure entertainment so you know we can kind of classify that differently um so okay serrated tooth we got a one mana weapon death rattle give your minions rush it's one three and it's a common card uh so de so death rattle give your minions rush mm. okay how's yeah, rush how's russian rogue i mean yeah. it's not terrible you'd have to kind of like put minions in your deck that you'd want to rush 
because just in general, mm-hmm. you know, I guess you have the death rattle minions, like the yeah. two four comes to mind. The death rattles creates a one one ooze could be pretty good with this, but you have to. It's a lot of mana to give one of your minions a rush. <laughs> There's uh, cards in the game already that give your minions a rush that see no play. Yeah, so, that's right. Rocket boots and stuff like that. So I imagine this will not be very good because it occupies your weapon slots and takes like three mana if you want to make it like instant cast by like playing it then redaggering. So in my mind, this is a dust. Yeah. I'm, I'm there with you too. Dust. I... I I see where it's decent because like candle shot's a decent card, but the oh. the, the issue is like with candle shot like you have you also a combo hunter. with it and your hunter, <laughs> so it's like it's a big difference, and like rushing isn't like yeah yeah uh, no I was gonna say keep a hunter play, but like doesn't dust. dagger up a hunter never daggers that up. is true never that's a good that. point I've never seen it happen so they really rely on the <laughs> shot whereas rogue daggers up all the time I see yeah. it do them every game almost the rogue daggers up so. You know, if yeah. if they didn't already have access to this tool, maybe it's good. But Rogue does this already, and yeah, efficiently. I'm sold. Yeah, me too. I, I don't <laughs> see any death rattle, you know, specifically Rogue death rattle minions that, you know, would want me to do this, you know, enough to because there could be right. There could have been some crazy death rattle uh, minion well, that's really the Undertaker. To... Give that guy a rush. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That, that could definitely be possible okay moving on so we've got another rush card it's a it's a pirate so pirates obviously the the theme for rogue this expansion two mana one one uh it's a rare card blood sail howler rush battle cry gain plus one pl- plus one for each pirate you control and uh they, they kind of showed this during the, the stream where of course they had a bunch of pirates on the deck. I think Chagi had a bunch of pirates and this thing was like a a five five and then he has or he has to do four four first and then a five five right after that um all right, so what do you guys think about this at two mana? Seems seems like one you wouldn't play on turn two. I'm gonna go with I, dust. I think it's okay. I mean it, it's yeah. a, I think it's a fine pirate. Most of the time if you're ahead in the board in a pirate deck though, you're probably just gonna kill yeah. him. You're looking to play burn cards instead of developing the board more. Mm-hmm. But um it just synergizes really well with the other two mana pirate. The two mana two two every time you attack with your weapon, you gain a one one pirate. Oh, and right, right. So you, you can See, this is where we need the serrated tooth because we can go one <laughs> drop into into wow. two drop pirate. There we go. Now we're building it, Firebat. <laughs> or you just build it even rogue, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think this is. I'm not sure that the pirate rogue has enough pirates yet. They might be one pirate short still and make something really happen, but it's probably going to be a tier two deck, tier three deck, even pirate rogue or just pirate rogue of any kind of nature. Um, yeah. I, I well, think this is it, it feels above like- average for other pirates. It feels like you're going to need even and odd cards to, to right make to have enough happen. pirates. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Otherwise, you just can't. So. Right. Exactly. Um, but speaking of pirates, we've got an eight mana legendary, which uh, six three Captain Hook Tusk. Uh, Battle cry: Summon three pirates from your deck. Give them rush. So we we saw this on stream too. This is you know kind of interesting. It's kind of got that call to arms feel. You know, like whenever you play it, uh, but you know, you, you get a chance to actually attack immediately with them, which is just definitely interesting. So mm-hmm. um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I mean, the the rush feeling. I, again, like these pirates, none of them have death rattle, right? For I mean, not many of them have death rattle. So and it feels like a lot of them have rush. Yeah, and a lot of them have rush. <laughs> yeah. So it's like you know, pirates have always been a face deck you know, in, in, in the past, or at least, you know, most of them in face deck or face type of deck. So this is a different, different kind of rendition of a pirate. You can give your ticket scalper, the <laughs> four mana five, three with overkill pirate rush, and then take a value trade and draw two cards. Oh, but uh, okay. overall in my mind, I think there's not enough pirates worth running with this effect to make it good. Unless you're pulling out the captains and stuff, you're getting three threes. <laughs> yeah, right. It's at best a five four with Captain Greenskin. Like, yeah, it's just, Greenskin's the biggest pirate right now, and that's it is a, uh, yeah. uh, it's a battle cry though. Like, at some point in the cycle of this card, it's going to become very, very, very good. I agree with Firebat on that. Like, I think this card has potential, and I really want it to be good because I saw the artwork for this card when they were originally introducing the set. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to love the pirate legendary. And then yeah. it's this. So <laughs> this. Yeah. eight drops with instant yeah. effects have traditionally seen play. Like almost all of the eight drops with instant effects have seen play. And this instant effect is powerful as hell. So it'll see play eventually, but it doesn't have 
the tools yet. Like, what are you pulling out? So you're getting like shark fin fan, sometimes a captain, maybe a, a phantom freebooter, you know, like oh. it's just, it's, there's nothing, there's not enough pirates that make sense. Yeah. I mean, hopefully there'll be more pirates that buff all, you know, like th that type of uh, element to it or, um, the old school cannon would have been pretty sweet with something like this. Yes. You know, yeah, yeah. Like this could be good and wild with the yeah. cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. Um, okay, last uh, road card we have here is a uh, two mana spell common st stolen steel. Uh, this is discover a weapon. And, and, you know, Rogue has like eight weapons or something like that, but it's discover a weapon from another class. Which is like, ooh, there's a lot of legendary weapons, right, from from other classes. So, um, You're right. Okay. Um, but it probably can't get um, non collectible weapons, right? So you can't get an Ashbringer, for example, because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. technically not a card. Because that was how Gormok worked. You couldn't get Ashbringer. Right. Right. That makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna say like one in like fifteen times. This card's nuts. And then the other times, it's, like, awful. And the reason I say 1 in 15 times is because sometimes you're going to hit Twig of the World Tree, you're going to play Twig of the World Tree on 4, and you're going to hear a power over it and go straight to 10 mana. So that's going to happen, and I know that's going to happen. <laughs> but other than that, I think this card's bad. Yeah, it's uh, got the Discover attached to it, though, so that makes me kind of reconsider things. Because um, Cursed Blade... Or not Cursed Blade, but was it the Warrior 1 mana weapon that switched yeah. to different things in your hand? Yeah, more uh, yeah, uh, that, that one. Yeah, that card wasn't terrible. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you know, I was messing with it recently. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's, it's not a terrible. Lot of things I, I haven't done the math on this <laughs> at all. I'm looking at all the weapons on my other screen right now, but I haven't like crunched the numbers. There's potential here. Someone's gonna have to crunch the numbers and figure it out. But um, it's definitely one I want to look at later on. I want to get in deep run the numbers and see what the odds are for things and then maybe, you know, give it a few shots. I think it's potentially playable. But, um, yeah, yeah, I'm not... I'm more optimistic than I am saying that it's going to be crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, no question it's going to be meme. Like, there's right, going to be, be lots of entertainment oh, yeah. from it, yeah. So I guess the question is whether it's actually going to be viable, which is kind of cool. I mean, it, you know, it'd be kind of neat to see, definitely in terms of casting it, Jace. It would be pretty amazing get a, oh, yeah. getting a Casting it? Oh, God. I can't, yeah. I can't wait to see the Twig of the World Tree dagger yeah. override. Yeah, yeah. It's going to sure. happen once. Okay, well, let's rate these things. All right, so serrated, I'm going dust. I'm going to kind of try to keep track, see how many how many we have dust, keep, and meme in, in the end of this thing. So uh, I know Firebat was dust for serrated. Mm -hmm. um, but, Jace, you were... Not I'm right? good. I'm dust. I'm dust. Are you dust dust it. too? It's right, gone. Right, Get right. that fifty dust. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's five dust. Okay. Blood cell. <laughs> blood cell howler. I'm uh, keep dust. I'm man. I th I'm gonna say dust too. Yeah, this card yeah. needs to be like a three three yeah. to be good, and like that means you have to have two pirates on the board by turn two. Or you... yeah, I'm gonna say dust. I mean, there's not many turn twos that are really. There's not very many two mana spells that are meant for. You know, turn four or turn five that that we use. You know, like that's like what other cards like this that we've ever used? Like that's you know meant to be played later. That's at two mana. I, mean, I don't think it's meant to be played later. I think at two two is fine. It's just really a okay. Tribal synergy card with rush seems all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. A tribal synergy card two drop with upside. That's how I look at it. Yeah. All like right. blue Girl warrior is an amazing card, and that card's trash in a vacuum. You know. Okay. Okay. Uh, Captain hooks hook tusk. Dust. Uh, there's dust for now. For now, it's dust. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> potential, <laughs> potential later on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna say keep. Actually, I, I mean, mainly because of what you said. There's no way they're gonna have this guy be. I they commit so much to this archetype and this be just so bad. There's, I, I don't think they're. I think this card is gonna be good eventually. I mean, it ha might have to be next expansion. We've seen them commit a whole yeah. lot more to other archetypes. I know we have, but I just not end up I, well. I, I'm believing they Please, learned their shaman. lessons. Please, discard Please. shaman. Discard uh, warlock bots. is finally getting playable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. I guess you could say bots last <laughs> to some degree. All right, stolen steel. What do you guys think? Is there there's a meme category? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a meme category. It's more of a meme so card. Meme, yeah. Meme. yeah, me too. All right, meme. All right, so all three memes there. Okay. Not a bad start. Not a bad. We've only got 
two <laughs> between all of us we've only got two keeps so far so that's, uh, <laughs> maybe that's not a great start <laughs> all right we're going into druid here okay we got some interesting ones here um okay we're gonna start off with a uh, spell they announced today during the stream pounce zero mana man i thought we i thought we like we're not gonna make spells zero mana anymore but we keep they seem to keep popping up it says zero mana common give the hero plus two attack this turn and uh you know we were kind of talking about this before the stream and, and far about you're saying it was basically backstab yeah, I think it's very comparable to backstab, except the conditional is you have to take the face damage of the minion's attack rather than the conditional being that the minion has to be undamaged. I think the card is really, really good. Super good for Mechathun druids, super good for Violet Teacher token type druids, and just super good in general for just high tempo on board kind of druids. So I think um, it's going to see a lot of play and be able to help those kind of archetypes. I think it's better than Innervate as far as tempo is concerned, and it's just a really powerful card. Yeah. What do you think, Jace? I think it's good, but the only deck I potentially see it seeing play in is the Mechathun Druid, and I think it's going to be insane in that deck because you have, like, Gadgetan Auctioneer and you have Wild Pyros, and you just, like, keep cycling, and it just gives you another way to just go off with Auctioneer, which, like, they shouldn't have access to, but now they're going to. Other than that, I think that's, like, just about the only deck I think it's going to see play in, because I, I do agree that it is a strong card, but I'm thinking, like, on terms of, you know, what Druid can already do. And what Druid can already do, I don't think they want to be doing this. But I could is be it, wrong. Is is there any potential of savagery stuff <laughs> coming from this? You know, like, they always try to make savagery a thing, right? <laughs> is there any chance this helps with that? I don't think so. They okay. have, like, a <laughs> right. savagery on a stick card and yeah. stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. But... yeah. All of that seems pretty garbage. I just think standalone without any of the other hero attack synergies, the card's just good. Okay. And we need like one or two more of those to justify playing savagery and things like that because those cards are so bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Next card we got here. We got the spirit for the druid, which is one mana zero three. Like uh, it's a rare card, spirit of the raptor. Stealth for one turn after your hero attacks and kills a minion, which you know pounce can be pretty good for that. Uh, draw a card. Uh, so, you know, not too crazy of an effect, but, you know, pretty nice, you know, the ability to be able to draw cards early in the game. So, uh, Jace, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to go dust on this one. I think the card is really cute, and I think it, like, I like the flavor of the attack druid, but I just don't, I mean, druid's just, like, is insane right now, and this is just, like, I'm really glad at what they gave Druid this set, because it makes Druid try and go in a much different direction than it has in the past. Um, I don't think it's going to overwrite, like, the Druid decks that are good currently, um, but maybe in time it will, but as for now, I think this card's just not... I don't think it makes a cut. Yeah, I don't think it makes a cut either. With the, uh, the Druid Loa, there's that the dank draw combo, where it's a uh, 4-9, right, that allows it to, whenever you attack and kill a minion, you get to attack again. So you could have, awesome. like, clear their whole board, draw seven cards, but I think that's a meme that's almost never going to happen. And uh, why do you need a card draw engine when you have UI in your class? I know. So this, I this, this is the one class that did not need card draw, right? Oh, well, yeah. Like, Warlock and Druid don't need any card draw. Yeah. But yeah. So I think this is super dust. Yeah. It's like... Maybe nurse is going away. Maybe UI is getting a nerf. I don't know. You know, maybe something, something in the future. Because yeah, this card and a lot of the other cards almost seem like there's going to be a revamp of, of Druid. But all the cards that are good right now are not going anywhere. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what what happens. Hopefully, that we'll see some like nerfs in the future here. Um, okay, War Druid Lodi or Lodi. No, it's Lodi. Uh, three mana, one two. It's this is the legendary for uh, the Druid. Choose one, transform into one of Lodi's four dinosaur forms, which let me show you real quick. This is pretty mm. crazy, like how many things like you get to choose That's from this. Yeah. And, and then in, in wild, if you play it with Fandral, you get a super minion. He gets I all did, I like that. I yeah, like the, dude, the, the joke. Amazing. The yes. joke between it was like it was like it was like thanks, Blizzard, and it just showed the three mana four six for <laughs> Druid without any context. Like so people just thought it was the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no but yeah fandral will be amazing but even just the ability to choose between these four different things is is pretty cool because they're all they're all different bodies too 
It's almost right. like Animal Companion, but you get to choose what you you want, you know, in a in a way. So right. um, you have to, you have to pay for that flexibility, though. Yeah. Like yeah. They, yeah. A lot of them are like a little bit better than two mana, so you're paying a you know it's a low tempo card, but it, it seems like it, if in this meta, if the meta kind of stays a little bit similar with the stat lines, it seems like it could line up pretty well because the four two rush is a really good removal against things like Hench Clan Thug and Vicious Fledgling, and then. Um, you know, in other matchups, maybe you need spell damage for your swipe or whatever. So it seems like the flexibility might just be good enough and it might just make the cut. Kind of like how we thought branching pass maybe wasn't going to be good, but the flexibility was just so useful for the mm -hmm. unique, polarized, yeah. different kind of matchups. Sometimes you want the 12 armor and sometimes you just need burst. Uh, this could be kind of fitting in that same category. The flexibility seems like it might be worth it. Yeah, I think this card's flexibility is insane. Like, you've got an, like, it, literally across the board, you've got things for every matchup, which mm -hmm. just makes this card so good. Like, for instance, you've got, like, the Poisonous Stealth, so you don't have to use Naturalizes on Giants. You can just kind of put this out there and Poisonous mm -hmm. Stealth it on the turn. They might Giant, yeah. or, like, even lock or cube lock or something. You've got Taunt against, like, Odd Paladin to just try and survive longer. You've got, like like you said, Answer to Vicious Fledgling and uh, Henge Clan Thug. And the last one, just, like, if you need to make swipes better. So, yeah, I think this card's really good. But... Uh Good cards don't always see play. Good cards are sometimes overshadowed by better cards. So this card might get uh, phased out because Oaken Summons is so crazy broken. <laughs> so yeah. It has competition. That's but if true. you're not playing Oaken Summons, you probably play this guy in your deck. And he's one of the reasons why you're not playing Oaken Summons. So now there's more reasons not to play Oaken Summons. So sometimes you want to play Floop in this guy instead of playing Oaken Summons, right? Yeah. Druid's got abundance of riches. Oaken Summons, is that going away at reset or, or not? Oh, I forget when Oaken Summons came out. I don't know how the resets work. <laughs> like, I don't know when Oaken Summons really? came out. You don't know how the resets Was Oaken work? Summons Kobolds and Catacombs? Uh, I Was it? Think so. um, it's definitely either KNC or, or before that. It's it's definitely not like with Springwoods. So... Yeah. So anyways, like if it goes, hopefully it goes away. Because if it goes away, then we. Oh, good. Summons is kobolds and catacombs. Oh, okay, okay. It's kind of cool though. Right now, there's a, a huge competition between whether or not running Oaken Summons is correct or not. And there you see like archetypes that. of every Druid deck where there's like you see Mali Druid deck without Oaken Summons. You see yeah. Mali Druid with Oaken Summons. You see Tog with and without. Yeah. So it's kind of cool because right now the only competition for Oaken Summons was Fluke, and so yeah. a lot of decks were doing the Oaken Summons with this guy out there. I. I think it's leaning towards that non Oaken Summons is correct because now you have Floop and this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that makes sense. I also mm -hmm. think another reason to run away from the Oaken Summons package is the next card we're going to talk about. Yep. All Which right. is good, good segue there, Jace. Uh, four mana <laughs> spell, <laughs> Predatory Instincts, rare, draw a beast from your deck, double its health. All right. So, we, you know, we've definitely seen cards where. You know, the minion itself, you know, comes out and it's double the health. But, um, you know, this is more of a, 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 a spell form here. So, um, yeah, what do you guys think? Beast Druid, I mean, Beast Druid is looking like a thing. but I, Or at least last week we were talking, Ike was just like going crazy over Beast Druid. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, a meme. Meme, okay. I think Beast Druid's a meme, but I think this card's good. Like, the reason I say this card's good is because so, so now... What you do is you can run like War Druid Lodi and you can run like uh, Forbidden Floop and you cut the Oaken Summons and you play two of these. And instead of playing Ironwood Golems, you play uh, Wishwood Grizzlies. So you draw Wishwood Grizzly guaranteed every time and you get a 324. And then you just temp out the 324 next turn and no aggro deck can deal with it. It does sound reasonable. Three twenty four <laughs> sounds <laughs> like a stuff right there. I thought you were going to go with some weird, like Undaskin. No, three twenty four. Screw two fourteen. Like they man. literally did it on <laughs> stream too. They did it. They did it on the stream. And I was just like, you, you, you play Wild Growth. You play this. You draw it. And like worst case scenario, they have ten cards in the hand. It's still a three fourteen. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, not three, the three, it's, not, it's the three twenty four, not three fourteen. That's insane. Folks, that's twenty seven. Black Knight meta. Black Knight meta. Oh, I seriously. mean, you, you better, they better have a void ripper. Everyone's gonna be running two void rippers in their decks. That's for sure. Double void ripper, Black Knight. Well, well we, we have those cards that are like silenced taunt minions and stuff. We're gonna talk about later. So now I'm starting to realize why why they exist. <laughs> it's because yeah. you've got potential for three twenty four minions. Insane. Um, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, okay, next thing, we've got another spell, four mana, Mark of the Loa. It's rare, and uh, just like the other marks, it's a choose one. Give a minion plus two, uh, plus four, and taunt, or summon two, three, two raptors. So, um, you know, kind of similar to some things we've seen in the past. Uh, never really been viable, and none of those cards have ever been viable. Uh, so, maybe at one point, one of them was. But uh, uh, Bellin's Blessing was viable, but yeah, plus two, plus yeah. four for three. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> but, There's uh, also Priest, though. Yeah, what, I yeah. mean, this is the same deal, right? Like, there's no place to play this right now. Right? This like, is just bad. Yeah, it's just yeah. you're not getting um, a lot for your mana value. And then on top of that, uh, the flexibility is not actually that useful. So I guess... The it's card's just... too fair. Yeah, that's a the good card's way just to way too fair. Yep. This you, is, get, you get two three twos for two mana each. It's just like, that's that's too fair. <laughs> it's overly fair, yeah. yeah it's just it's... not worth its mana cost. You're spending like four mana on something that should probably cost three mana. Yeah, I, f I felt like they might have found this, this card in artwork, like tucked away, hidden in their closet for two years ago, and they're like, oh, we have this here. We might as well just like put this one out too because <laughs> it definitely, definitely feels like a card that should have been released a couple of years ago. Um, okay, so last thing we got here is a five-mana epic, Tree Speaker 4-4, four, four, Battle Cry. Transform your Tree Ants into 5-5 five, five Ancients. Okay, I like how they changed what they are too, you know, from a tree ant to an ancient. That's that's kind of cool thematically. But uh, yeah, living mana potential, even though you're not going to have that mana <laughs> left over to do this. But uh, you got like the three mana, else? three mana card that generates two tree ants. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. like a powerful card so that synergizes with the tree speaker. Yeah. Mulch Muncher is a good card. So like running tree ants is already had some amount of upside. Now it has more upside. Could be good. Doesn't seem too bad. Trian Druid, okay. What do you think, Just, Jace? Uh, yeah, 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 it's in <laughs> Druid. That's that's my only statement. It's it's just in Druid. Like like ah. Uh, okay. I want this card to be decent. I think it's a cool well, card. Just, just, like, ig just ignore what exists in Druid for now. Ignore you know what, I mean? what like, exists. I just, still just think it's like now. mediocre right. at best. Okay. Like, yeah. I I think it's too hard to. I think it's gonna be too hard to set up some kind of board state. Right. Where you have the trans, the trans live, and then you play this a five mana four four. There's not enough on curve plays for this. Yeah, like, exactly. You could go like coin force nature into tree speaker, I guess. But like, yeah. there's only one landscaping. We need more. We need like you would need like a four mana option to generate trees and another three mana option right. to generate trees. But Soul right now it's like forest. Soul of the forest and witchwood apple and tending torrent are all too slow. Force of nature <laughs> is much too slow and living mana. You don't have the mana to then play it afterwards. So I don't think there's enough valid options. But there's a lot of payoffs for having tree ends. The payoffs are the mulch muncher, the dendrologist, and then the tree speaker now. So the payoffs are there. It's just there's no means to get to the payoffs yet. So we need better tree ends. Yeah. Hmm. I'm wondering... I'm wondering even, even just with a living mana play, and I don't know, you have Inner for whatever reason, maybe you trade one of them and... Uh, and well, yeah, you, the very next play would be super hard to still get it, right? Even if you had, you'd have to have mm -hmm. it in two innervates or something like that, right? To be able to pull it off. Okay, yeah, sounds right. All right, let's judge these cards now. So, Pounce, what do you guys give it? Uh, keep. Keep. Yeah, I get it. Keep. Mm, keep just for Mechathune. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Spirit of the Raptor. Dust. Yes. Yeah. We're all dust on that one. Uh, predatory instincts. That's a keeper for me. Yeah, keep keep. That's going to be some fun card. <laughs> Mark of the Loa, dust, dust. Yeah, yeah. And then tree speaker, dust. dust. So yeah. And then war druid Lodi is, I'd say, is a keep. Yep, keep. That card's oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Oh yeah, skip that. Yep, war druid uh, Lodi is a keep. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, no memes in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Druids no, I can't, Druids don't I can't wait to go Predatory much. Instincts mm -hmm. into a 1224 Tyrantus. I don't know why, but that seems really cool. Yeah. Uh, you think? <laughs> I mean, the Grizzly seems cooler, but like... <laughs> <laughs> it's much cheaper. Half price it's, for the 1224. It's on curve. Oh. It's on curve. It's on curve. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Um, but so did you guys buy the, uh, the pre-expansion stuff? Like the bundle and everything? Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, for those of you that haven't bought it, go ahead and uh, you better purchase that. It's your last week. And 
if for whatever reason, you know, like you're, uh, you, you haven't had enough funds or, or money to, to buy those, uh, you know, those uh, Rastakhan Rumble bundles because of maybe your cell phone bill, you know, I just want to let you guys know we are sponsored by Mint Mobile this week. And Mint Mobile, uh, for those of you do, that don't know, it's like, it's completely online. It's like one of these uh, mobile services that you can, you can switch to it from your, you know, current phone number, your current uh, carrier really easily. They, uh, they actually send you your SIM card with like full instructions on how to switch over. And right now they're running a three-month service for only $20, like for um, just up to five gigabytes of 4G LTE data and unlimited talk, talk, talk and text. And this is all run the most advanced and fastest LTE network uh, in, in the, you know, the nation. So, um, you know, the service is definitely super good. I mean, it's going to be pretty much the same as what you're using right now. So um, if you want to go and participate in that, go to mintmobile.com slash value town. And, um, you know, you can get this $20. It's only, it's only for the holidays. So like once the Christmas is passed, you're not going to get a chance to do it. But, uh, but I've tried it out on my new phone and, and, you know, I got the package kind of experienced it just you know, before I get a chance to tell you guys about it. And um, it's super easy. Like literally the instructions are super clear. I had the hardest time switching carriers like the last time I did it, uh, switching from T-Mobile to like uh, AT&T, I believe it was. Like even just unlocking my phone and stuff, like I didn't know what, like what I was supposed to do, like and having to figure it out with the carriers. It was actually a real pain. So Mint Mobile yeah. makes it like really simple. So um, you know, I'd give that a try. Obviously, they sponsor the show, which is super awesome, and uh, you know, save some money so you can buy some Rotsicon Rumble packs. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's see, let's move on to what do we got here? Hunter, yeah, Hunter. Here we go. Ooh, Hunter, quite a bit. lots of cards. Yeah, I don't think you've seen most of these actually. Uh, Firebat. So, um, starting with the first one, one mana. It's a spell. The Beast Within. Epic. Give a friendly beast plus one plus one. Then it attacks a random enemy minion. Yeah, this is the one we revealed on Omnistone. This yeah. one's pretty. Cool. Yep. So, if your minion's already attacked, you can then play this on it, and it can attack again. Or you can do it before you attack, and then attack afterwards. So now there is no reason to ever trade in Hunter because you can always smork and then play this on your minion to take the trade for you. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's a good call, Firebat. That's a good call. Yeah. That's a good call. So it has to attack an, a, a minion, right? Yeah, okay. That'd be kind of... Yeah. <laughs> been pretty. You just go yeah, face twice. Yeah, yeah it's just like go Hunter, rush. Yeah, face. let's go again, guys. <laughs> do, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> That'd be sick, stupid. Let's run it back uh, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I like this card, too. It's, like, super cool. Uh, all right, next one is a three-mana, two-four uh, Blood Scalp Strategist. Rare Battle Cry. If you have a weapon equipped, discover a spell. Okay, pretty good with Candle Shot, you know, obviously. Yeah, um, now that now that we know a Headhunter's Hatchet is a card, this card got a little bit better. Because mm -hmm. it actually curves out with it. I, don't, I still don't know how good it is. Like, I don't, I don't think... Hunter won't like Hunter's three drops are always so competitive, and then three mana two four, and you have to have a weapon. I I don't think it's that strong. I mean, I don't even think it's Headhunter's hatchet. I mean, I think I think we're still probably going to play Candle Shot. It's still a really good card. Uh, I think generally speaking, so uh, you're not going to get through your Candle Shot by the time you you get this guy, anyways. So that's true. It's well, good. I mean, with that argument for playing it on curve, why don't you just play Hinch Clan Thug? <laughs> That's a uh, strong point. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, it's good. Discover spell. How, well, I guess how powerful is Discover spell for Hunter? It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Play Deads, the Beast Within. They have just random utility spells. Hunter's Mark, Unleash yeah. the Hounds. Just lots of utility spells that are quite good. Uh, so you hit this like off curve a lot of the time, which is why it could be better than Hench Plant Thug, right? Because Candle Shots tend to stick around and you hold on to it for a really long time throughout the course of the game. Then you pick up utility spells. It's direct competition is what the, the three mana two two tracker guy, Stitch Tracker. Yep, yep. So you'd probably play this over Stitch Tracker, but I'd probably opt to play neither of them. I agree. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> close though. Yeah. So it's, it's an all right card. It's an option. It's definitely a tech option. I would say if you want to be better against control with your hunter deck, but usually. This day and age, people are trying to make Hunter better against aggro because he usually handles his right. ultras really well. Well, um, when Rexar is gone, we'll see. But yeah, uh, I guess <laughs> we'll see how they handle control after that. Um, okay, next uh, card we got here is three mana Master's Call. It's a rare spell. Discover a minion in your deck. 
if all three are beasts, draw them all. So it's like a freaking lottery, you know, <laughs> if you, if for whatever reason you're running a, a beast deck. Uh, Jace, how do you like this beast lottery card here? Um, I don't, I, so I have a clarification question. Okay. So it says discover okay. a minion in your deck. If all three are beasts, draw them all. Do you, do you discover them all? Like they still stay in your deck or do you just draw them out of your deck? That's where I'm like, the oh. wording is kind of confusing to me. Oh, I, think I don't think says... that matters to how good it is. I just, I'm just curious. I think if it says draw them all, I think you actually... But does it mean, oh, like, draw all the discover options, like, all of them? Or, like, like it's just weird wording. I, I think they would have worded it differently if it wasn't. Like, it was a copy of them all or something like that, you know? Like, right, like, maybe, yeah. yeah. Um, other than that, I think that... I don't, I don't think it's that good. I mean, they finally give Hunter draw. That's kind of cool. Hunter's always never had draw. But I just... I, I don't think the card's that good. Hmm. It potentially enables some low to the ground beast decks, which is kind of cool because you now have for yeah. like running like a timber wolf stone tusk boar. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, yeah, kind of like yeah. fast, aggressive hunter. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be good. Generally, what you want with card draw is the ability to draw a bunch of options and diversity. Mm -hmm. And this card draw card draws three of the same thing. And drawing three of the same thing is bad because then you don't have a lot of options and you can only do one thing with your hand. And generally, you want a hand that does a bunch of things. So I think, mm. just by the nature of that, it's a, a high roll draw card that attempts to try and get the same exact options. So I think that's just generally bad. Okay. Yeah. Um, makes sense. I'm trying to think if there's any minion that you'd really, really, you know, like you're just looking for that actually m makes impact that would even make up for well, any any uh, one thing loss. is like it's got some crazy dire frenzy synergy so if you like don't have any be any okay. minions in your deck at all and you like dire frenzy yeah. something then you can get three copies of the minion you just dire frenzied which is pretty sweet so you got some yeah. weird meme potential there it's just scale hide control hunter now yeah like talking. that kind of stuff there so you can, oh there you play go the vision. Scale high, then you dire frenzy, then you play God, this. I miss dire Three, frenzy. four, six rush. But wait, would through. you actually? I so would, miss dire. But frenzy. when you're when you're presented discover options, you never get two. You don't get two of the same thing. Uh, so I was how told, would that work? Oh, that's a good point. Actually, I was I was told that it works. You would get all three. Okay. With really? Dire frenzy. I was talking oh, with um, okay. We, we were on the Omni Stone with Peter Whalen, mm -hmm. and we were talking to him about it, and. You said you get all oh, three. Okay, that'd be the first time. Yeah, we've ever seen that, right? Like, just any discover anything where we see the same same options three times. That'd be cool. Um, okay, yeah, Dire Frenzy. Oh man, I remember. Play I haven't played Dire Frenzy in so long, but I, but the early days of Spell Hunter was so fun <laughs> playing Dire Frenzy, or we're playing Dire Frenzy with just the the crazy crazy beast. Spell Hunter's deck. coming back, yeah, man. Don't you worry. I know, I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, there's def there's elements of that that are showing that at least um okay here we go five uh the next card is a legendary card that's five mana three two beast it's halazi the lynx so i guess this is the loa right for for uh the hunters battle cry fill your hand with one uh with one one lynxes that have rush so instead of filling your hand with spells <laughs> which we've definitely seen we get to fill our entire hands with one one like minions with rush mm -hmm. that's that's pretty awesome <laughs> like that's I, honor, man. isn't it that's uh, the, the links are, cool. are one mana too right i believe right yeah right so you yeah. can complete your quest with quest hunter you can run some toxmonger oh, out there crazy Hold yeah the board with toxmonger oh we're so, creating a whole bunch of funky stuff happening now there. you have to play yeah. this card which is a five minute three two you got to play maybe the quest or you got to play toxmonger which is <laughs> <laughs> all just cards. yes so I, I just say okay, but hear me out, Firebat. If you're playing Toxmonger, and let's say you hit on average about six six of these one ones, that is six deadly shots yeah. for one mana. That's that yeah. six. Sick. It's, this is a one of though. <laughs> so you're not going to get this result with a lot of consistency. So building your deck around a one of legendary has traditionally been pretty bad. Mostly. But when you get it. <laughs> 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 there's like rare cases when that's not bad like <laughs> but usually i don't think this effect is powerful enough to justify building a deck around one specific card and i don't think I this card's good enough on its own to be able to just be played for the sake of being played yeah 
is, but is there you can get them from Rexar. Well, I mean, so so definitely the quest element I think is 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 interesting. So is there a world where where Carna you know, like Queen Carnassa and just the whole fifteen cards being shuffled in your deck is you know, is some kind of winning condition for you? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm seeing a deck forming here. Right, we get the links going, we get the spear of the links going. We, uh, you know, play the Spirit of the Links, then we start playing the Raptors from the deck, start making them 4-3s. How do you win, oh, you, you can do you tutor it out, man. <laughs> you, go, you go Master's Call to get your Links. Oh. oh. What, if you, what if you only play three Beasts in Spell Hunter, but you play two Master's Calls? That way yeah. you can always guarantee the draw. You on the always links. get the Links, and then you run Toxmonger to set it up, and then you run the Okay, point. I have another oh, question about beast? how this card works. I don't think Toxmonger is Beast. No, I but like I have another card. question on how this works. If I'm playing only three beasts in my spell hunter deck, right? And I play <laughs> and I play Master's Call, but I drew one of my beasts, do I do I still get all two of the beasts left in my deck or or no? I, I didn't ask that question, so I don't know actually Ooh. if that would work or not. It may I don't know. Because it says if all three are beasts, it but does I only specifically, have two options. It does specifically uh, say three beasts. So yeah. I would think it doesn't work. To be honest. Oh god, yeah. my deck was falling apart. Because it would say if all are beasts, draw them all, right? Like that's mm -hmm. that's what it should say if if that was the case. So um I don't, I'm I'm not sure if they meant for that to happen. It's like so what if you get two, right? I'm so glad <laughs> this card didn't exist when Spell Hunter had Barnes. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You would have had insane. Barnes on curve every single game. Yeah, that would be pretty sick. Okay. Uh, moving on, we've got okay, we've got another hero for Hunter, which is pretty interesting given that uh, um, you know Hunter doesn't really need it with Rexar, but Zol Zoljin is a ten mana hero, legendary battle cry, casts all spells you've played this game, targets uh, what does it say? Targets chosen randomly. You get five armor, just like all the other heroes. And then your hero power is uh, just do two damage, so it's very, um, very much like what's uh, the what was the the card that the hunter card before? You could just target anything. You don't have to target hero power. Steam wheel sniper. Yeah, steam wheel mm -hmm. sniper. Exactly. Um, so okay, we we've got this kind of uh, Yogg-Saron feel, but better because it's actually spells that you put in your deck versus just like a bunch of random ones. Uh, so this is. You know, at the very least, going to be a meme card. But the real question is: Is it viable? I think so. Oh I think, yeah. I think uh, you can play it in just a hunter deck that has a bunch of decent spells. At some point, it's going to be super juice and be a huge tempo swing. And then, um, you know, you use that huge tempo swing to stabilize or get ahead. And then after you've done that, you play Rexar to help you close out the game. Mm -hmm. I think any late game hunter, this is a really strong consideration for. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a really solid card, especially like in something like a spell hunter, right? Where you just you almost guarantee that all the spells you're playing are going to be good and impactful, and mm -hmm. this card is just this card's good. Yeah, I mean you got you got tons of removal. I mean you play crushing walls and you play things like that. It's gonna it's gonna remove the board, and then you know if you have DD spells too, you're gonna be put hitting face after that too if it goes in the right order. So uh, mm -hmm. you, you think this is like a game winning play? You, you guys. Imagine that. Like, that would be terrible, to be honest, if, if Zuljin is just, like, literally the win condition. Um, I don't think yeah. it's like Yogg where you can win the game off the back of it, like, a lot of the times, but there there, there will definitely be cases where, like, against, like, aggro decks, right? Not against, like, control decks. Like, I don't think this is impactful enough against control decks. This is probably the win condition for Spell Hunter slash Secret Hunter. I do agree with that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so like, this, is, this is just Shutterwalk, then, basically, right? Yeah, you play your secrets and your spells, and then you play this, and then uh, <laughs> should close out the game for you or put you in a favorable enough position. To and where if you not, close. you got Rexar to close it. <laughs> God, at least we have Rexar to close it for another four months. Hopefully, after that, we won't see Rexar for a while. Um, okay, well, pretty pretty interesting card. At the very least, it's interesting. Kind of wish the hero power was something different, but man. The, the battle cry is just incredibly strong. So if they made it anything, you know, powerful, it would it would feel crazy overpowered. This card. Okay, we got it. the weapon that you mentioned before, which is a header hunter's hatchet, two two mana, uh, two attack, two durability. It's a common uh, battle cry. If you control a beast, gain plus one durability. Mm -hmm. So 
no Stormforge axe. You know, kind there's of a lot of and... two damage weapons. Yeah, and yeah. none of them see play. <laughs> two damage is not enough. People play two threes. <laughs> so uh, That's right. I think it's dust. It just needs to deal three damage in this day and age to keep up with the minions people play. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, any comments, Jace, on this one? Anything? Not no, much. I think yeah. Firebat said it all. Yeah. Um, yeah. Firebat, I believe in you. So. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> yes, great. great. <laughs> Love this belief here. Uh, all right, three mana. This is the spirit for the hunter, spirit of the lynx. Zero three rare stealth for one turn. Whenever you summon a beast, give it plus one plus one. So okay, mm, I don't. I don't love this card. Give it up. Uh, get it out of here. Yeah, get it's it dust, dust it. really like a three mana card is going to have seven stats. This card has three stats, so that means. <laughs> A lot of things to make up for the loss of that. Yeah. It buffs two things in order for it to be worth it. This is uh, literally just the worst Adlet Grizzly. Yeah, and Adlet Grizzly is bad. That's the three minute. <laughs> yeah. Minions plus one plus one when they come into play. So this is like incredibly terrible. It has some synergy with like Unleash the Hounds, does it? No, yeah. isn't it? No, play? it does. It does. No, no, it does have synergy with it Unleash does the Hounds. Hounds. Um, yeah, um, so you can Unleash the Hounds and stuff like that. Uh, so there's some cute meme stuff you can do, but it's just. Overall, not good enough. I mean, even with Unleash, I mean, it's like getting Leoc. I mean, it's not like it's something we can't get, you know. I guess yeah. it's like a guaranteed Leoc type of thing. Um, okay, yeah, I don't love this card either. But, uh, okay, let's judge these cards here. A Beast Within, um, I think we're all keep on that one, right? I'm dusting it. Oh, you're dusting it? Oh, wow. I'm dusting okay. it. Get it out of here. All right, okay. So stick with the Rexar Beast. I think it's really good, yeah. <laughs> it's the Rexar Beast Rush. But, like, you have to have yeah. Rexar and then play the Rexar and then build a beast and then play this. And this has to be in your hand for, like, the entire game. I, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I, I I just think getting an extra attack from any of the Hunter Beast late game is just amazing. I mean, it's um, fine with, like, Death Rattle Hunter where, like, you get the you yeah. go play dead and then you play this, like, on the Devil's Sword. Like, I guess I guess it has niche things and I'm still dusting it because it's an epic and I want the dust. Okay. Wow! <laughs> Dude, I, I guarantee you, Jace, there's a million epics to dust. Like, there's, there's definitely going to be. Yeah, a like this one. Yeah, like this one. Jeez. Okay. Uh, Blood scalp strategist. Uh, dust. Um, I was dust. God, I'm close on it. I was close to yeah. keeping it, but I mean, dust is. This is good in arena, though, right? But I guess we're talking standard here. But yeah, we gotta dust this. There's, there's just no place for. it these cards it's sad because it's not a bad card i mean like value wise mm -hmm. i still think it's it's good it's just it's just no place in hunter right now for it master's call Us. okay i'm gonna say initially dust but if master's call will draw all beasts even if you don't have three i could see some weird spell hunter where you have the halizy or some other like beast you want and you just draw those and then you have no more beasts in your deck for spell hunter so i could see it seeing play so I'm gonna I'm I'm dusting it. Never mind, it's dusting. I, I'm gonna. I, I don't like the three mana two two discover a minion. Why would I like a three mana spell without a two two discover a minion? Like, this one draws like all the beasts. Like if you want to play three I'm beasts not, in your yeah. deck, okay, that's so my question. Conditional for an effect that I don't really want anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I said I'm dusting fire. Let, let, let me throw this out there. Is it a meme card though? Is it? Is yes. It, okay. Oh, It'll yeah. enable some meme combos. Okay. Yeah, that's, I was gonna put it in meme, so that's kind of why I want it. Okay. Jay, sure. you, 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 is it Jace? You memeing it or are you dusting it? I'm gonna meme it up. It's an epic though. <laughs> oh no, no. This one's this one. This is like lock and load. This is one of those epics where like you keep it for a little bit right. just to see. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Hal Halazi. This is this is my really heart good. wants to keep this card, but my brain's telling me that I need to dust this. This is a meme. Oh man. Okay, it's a meme. Combos. We got dust. Oh it's man, just, this is either me. This is either meme or keep for me. I, I have this. I don't know. I have this feeling that somebody's gonna do something with this. I'm gonna say meme for now, though. Additionally, um, these kind of cards that you have to tutor them out and then play them yeah. with your whole deck built around them have been bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, oh. we we've tried the whole quest hunter when quest hunter was first coming out. It's like, oh my god, it's so broken, and then it quickly was not. Uh, Zoljin. That's keep. Oh, totally keep. Yeah. That's crazy. a crafty crazy golden keeper. day one kind <laughs> yeah, of card. Yeah, exactly. This is like the very first thing I, I probably 
try out is just the combo with this old gin. Uh, <laughs> Headhunter's Hatchet. It's a dust for me. That's a dust. You're not getting yeah. much dust, but <laughs> it's a dust. It's a keep around, but but never play. Uh, Spirit of the Lynx. That's a super dust. Dust for me. Yep. All right. Okay. So far, man, we're 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 dusting a lot of cards so far. Yeah, this isn't looking too good. At least not for today's. I mean, I think all the the past cards that have been announced have been like yeah. the opposite. I mean, they've been great cards. So. I think a lot of the neutrals are probably decent that we haven't gotten a chance to look at yet. Yeah. Uh, okay. Deem uh, the warlock. So a lot of warlock cards already have already come out. So most of them were discard. None of these are actually discard related. So it's kind of different. First one is a one mana spell, Grim Rally, rare. Destroy a friendly minion. Give your minions plus one plus one. Mm. Good for like egg zoo kind of stuff. Maybe a, just an extra cube activator. Yeah, Z cube activator. That's a, good point. That's a good point. Maybe uh maybe kill a void walker after you've like gold you know, gold or maybe something. Maybe when your opponents are like twelve health instead of ten and you need your doom guards to be a little bit buffier so you can kill but them. You can't it, it, when you destroy the cube it doesn't buff the doom guards. Oh, and, okay, never mind. I'm playing but, at the end of the game, like if you play Gul'dan, like Chain Man said, then you can just use this for six first, you know. That's true. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. It's, it's not so I great, think it's just, but uh, it's it's it might be playable. It doesn't have a lot of competition since Dark Pack got nerfed. Dark Pack only heals for four now, so it's like Dark Pack. There's not too much reason to play that. Maybe you should throw Grim Rally in instead, Dark Pack, and yeah. give it a shot. Uh, so I think it's definitely playable. And then there's also like the Egg Zoo potential. You know, you get a really wide yeah. board to play this. You play like Devil Star Eggs, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I I wonder what percentage of time it will give you just enough damage, but I I can definitely see it worthwhile though. It's got that at least that versatility, and mm -hmm. okay, yeah, that's cool. Uh, Demon Bolt. We saw this during the stream. It's an eight mana. Destroy a minion costs one less for each minion you control. So it's a common spell here. Um, hmm. This. Uh, Okay. For, for me, this so seems like a said, snowball card. This this is... I, okay, go ahead, Jace. They said that they tested this card at 7 mana and it was too good. So, like, I, I, I think this card could be at 7 mana and be fine. I, like, I'm i pretty sure they said this, they tested this card at 7 mana and it was too good. I think this card's just awful. Well, maybe you played in Controlling more like It's better than Siphon Soul. I, yeah. I don't think it is. Hey, you always have one minion in play. <laughs> so, well, you know, you yeah. probably you could play a minion that turn and then Demon Bolt something. The, the ability to play something the turn that you want to cast this to make it cheaper, kind of like the Sea Giant effect, is. I guess that's fair, but I just. Pretty good. I think the best application for this is Ghoul Dam, and then, like, it's cheap later on. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't you just yeah. play this in a, a zoo ish deck? You know, I mean, it's no. kind of high. No, no, just I not. Don't think it's too, I, in zoo, it would have to replace like Spellbreaker, right? And it just. Oh, yeah, that's true. Zoo, everything needs to be a minion because you, okay. you get those hands where you don't have minions and you sit there and cry. Yeah. Your deck has to play minions every single turn of the game, and that's a pretty strong conditional for zoo. But in oh, controlling Warlock, you, yeah. you play this at some point. Maybe they play a Lich King. The numbers add up right for you to be able to remove the Lich King the turn it comes down, which is the purpose of Siphon Soul. And then in late game, it's insane because you play Gul'dan and then kill their guy so that they're not threatening lethal against your Gul'dan. Yeah. And so you can safely transition into Gul'dan and then start gaining life. So I think this card is just really good for the cube lock, even warlock kind of stuff where, um, you know, you kind of want to run removal, but um, mm -hmm. you also want it to not be garbage in late right. game. I, I I mean I I don't know why this card I don't know why they made this card like I, I would have understood if they made this card maybe two or three expansions ago but at this point like Warlock does not need removal like the, like no question they don't need removal there's like so much removal in, in uh, Warlock so I think even a wasting a card on this seems seems weird because even if this does get play you're probably going to drop some other card that that we've been playing that's removal base right so well, yeah you drop siphon soul siphon yeah. soul sucks yeah. it's like one of the yeah, weakest cards of the deck by far but you need to play it because every other deck runs lich king and you have to kill the lich king somehow sometimes um kind of want two ways to kill lich king in every control deck so even though you can't play it for free because the board slot's only seven, which is probably why they changed it up to eight because it was probably too good when you played Gul'dan and then instantly... Probably, that's what, that's what yeah. I figured, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But uh, hey, I still think it's just way better than Siphon Soul. So it I is. Think it's it's just, do we need them to have something better than Siphon Soul? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I, get, I mean, that's like the, one of the biggest weaknesses in Warlock right now is they have great AOE, but no good single target. And this isn't great single target in any other class it wouldn't see play. But in right. Warlock in particular, it's like, well, they beat Siphon Soul, so we're in. <laughs> right, right. Okay, uh, last one here is a 7-mana 5-8 minion, Blood Troll Sapper. It's a common. After a friendly minion, minion dies, deal 2 damage to the enemy hero. If only Dread Steve were still around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you go this you, you Dread guys... Steve plus Defile, and things would happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I mean, I definitely the mechanic I think is pretty good. I mean, the text is good. Just dealing damage to any hero, especially late game. That, that's a pretty good mechanic. Um, pretty dank. Is it like a tech card? If you've seen yeah. a lot of Control Warlock mirrors. Yeah. And then you go board and you drop Seriously. this. And right. and kill him. Got him. Yeah. But I mean, uh, it's only friendly minions. So that's oh, what the turn yeah. was all minions. I would say, hell yeah, this is going to be sweet. But only friendly minions. I think the dream of getting a full board of zoo playing this than trading is bad because one, you have to trade, which is always terrible when you're playing an aggressive deck. And two, um, you're gonna discard this with your Doom Guard, man. It costs seven. So well, I don't, <laughs> right. I don't look at it like that though. Like you know, I wouldn't trade if I played the, if I played you, the card on the on the board. This is this is almost like a taunt, right? Like mm -hmm. protects your other minions. You you just still go hidden phase with the Zoo, right? Hear me out. Yeah. We find a way to tempo Glinda Crowskin, <laughs> and then we play this card. And then we play Jesus. Snow Flipper Penguins oh, over and over God. and just massacre all the Snow Flipper Penguins until your opponent oh, dies. God. And I don't know how you do that, but that's a possibility. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's, okay. it costs seven. <laughs> 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 no, but the, the me I mean, I'm serious. No, the, I think the mechanic's cool because there's a penalty for them removing your board. You know, if you play a a very, you know, tempo-based deck, like a, a zoo deck or whatnot, like, it, you know, they want to remove your stuff, and they're going to actually take damage when they do that. That's a, it's a kind of... Uh, yeah, if you're just going to use put them in. Yeah. a taunt, then you could just play 7-mana 5-9 taunt. <laughs> it's okay. a neutral card. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is better than that, I guess, in zoo, but yeah. that's not a card I've ever thought about even putting in my zoo deck. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. It might, might not be strong enough, though, you know, with the body and whatnot, but... It's going to cause a meme, for sure. There's going to be yeah. some meme decks that play it, I think. And okay. then in Wild, there'll be a Dread Speed meme and stuff like that. Weird. I'm, I'm excited for that. <laughs> some crazy weasel shenanigans, I'm sure, will happen. <laughs> All right, let's rate these. So, Grim Rally. Uh, it's a keep, I think, for me. Yeah, I think it's a keep. I think it's a slight keep. It's like, yeah, yeah I'd keep it. Okay, uh, Demon Bolt. I'm dusting I, it. I think it's a keep. It's yeah. better than Siphon Soul, so it fits the book for me. Gosh, I mean, <laughs> I like don't want to say keep, but I mean that that is a very valid point. I just don't like the card, but it's okay. It's dust for you, Jay. Yeah, it's definitely okay. dust for me. Uh, Blood Troll Sapper. So, uh, Firebat says meme. Yeah, meme. I'm gonna say meme too. It's definitely a yeah. dust card, but like, there's some memey stuff with this. Weird okay. patron plays and stuff. I still like my snow flipper idea. I don't know how no, you would like I'm keep gonna, I'm gonna say snow keep, I'm just gonna say keep on Blood Troll Sapper. Okay. I think there's something there. Um okay, so let's move on to the next class. We've got uh Paladin. Okay. So Paladin, we've got actually two weapons for Paladin. Paladin has so many weapons already too. Uh, so first one is what Blood Claw. Yeah, yeah, God, what are you doing there, <laughs> what? buddy? What? You're not a paladin car. <laughs> Wait, what? I... Gaunt the Raptor is a druid. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a druid. Yeah, oh, my brown. God, dude. I'm like, totally... sorry, guys. I got, I got caught, <laughs> what are I got, you doing I got there, caught up in all the brown stuff. All right, we, we got we to gotta talk about Gonk. All right, let's talk about Gonk since it's, it's a druid. My okay. bad, my bad. I'll try it. It's... Getting this stuff together, guys, today He's with all the cards. Disguising as stuff. a paladin card. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's talk about this. This is like a legendary too. I was like, I was like, yeah, the four nine. Where is it? So uh, seven mana, four nine beast. It's um, after your hero attacks, kills a minion. It, it may attack again. So that's kind of what Fire Rat was talking about with the whole meme about uh, odd paladin killing all the recruits one by one, and mm -hmm. uh, you know just having a field day with that. So yeah, what do you guys think about this one? I think it's a meme card. Yeah, meme, dust, you know, whatever. It's yeah. just not good. It's um, yeah. 
if it's expensive and you don't have anything that synergizes with it, that's really worth playing except the zero mana card. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what if it had rush? I feel like it's like missing rush or something like that. Like, I don't know. The, the card definitely feels bad, right? The, the current state it's in right now. Uh, mm -hmm. So wait, so it, it says may attack again. So if you play this and your hero kills something, it doesn't get to attack, does it? Or like, does it have rush at that point? Or you, you, you talk about Gaunt the Raptor? Your hero, your attacks, hero again. attacks again. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 the, oh, the hero attacks again. Oh, I got you. So you like you play Gaunt. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking the, the minion attacked again. Okay. Yeah. The hero. Turn to eight. Yeah. You play bite, double claw, hero power, oh, double right. zero oh, mana. That's like claw. lame. Okay. Okay. Kill that's a minion, kill another minion, and then hit him in the face. Okay, that's super lame. All right. All right. That's, that's nice. <laughs> It's probably know. not going to see play, but uh, yeah, you know, it okay. could clear a fully clear a board. I don't know if we're playing the four mana card in the Witchwood Grizzly package. Maybe you slap this in there. No, because yeah. then you can draw That's it, so... and then it take yeah. you don't have the three mana twenty four. But you got a five mana three to eighteen. You play that, or the seven mana four eighteen. You play that. It sticks. You play bite. You clear the board. I think you have to play bite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, play you just play like pounce. I... Play pounce. <laughs> okay, well, uh, going back to Paladin now, like <laughs> kind of reframing back to Paladin. We've got two weapons here. First one being uh, one mana, two, two, blood claw, common, battle cry, deal five damage to your hero. Mm -hmm. So, you know, definitely a good weapon at one, one mana. Five damage to your hero probably doesn't matter in the beginning, especially in a heal Paladin, <laughs> which is becoming a. Well, that's uh, why it's like so good is because it allows you to like heal really quickly in the game. It's like another mm -hmm. crystal weaver esque effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. If um yeah, so it damages yourself, and then you can enable all the sweet heal palin synergy cards, like the four mana, you know, eight eight. If you've healed for ten this game and stuff like that, uh, I think this is a good tool and a good part of that entire package. Seems to fit. I'm just a little bit scared because. Like we said a little bit earlier on, two damage is usually not a good break point for killing things in the early game. Usually you want to be at that three because all the two threes that can exist. Yeah. So that's the only concern I have with it. Paladin does not have a lot of ways to get that one point of missing damage, right? Like yeah. Paladin doesn't have like a hero power they can use to buff it up to three attack like a druid could do. They don't have a ping like mage or anything. So uh, It's a silver hand recruit, man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the summer yeah. recruit to get in there for the yeah. ping. I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous that it could end up just being like you want the effect, but it could just end up not being um, impactful enough for dealing with the common early game boards. I'm gonna say keep for now, but I would not be too surprised if the whole heal paladin thing isn't super great. Yeah, I'm gonna say keep. I, I really hope, like, I really wish there were a way that I could see. I can't see it right now that you could put the four mana four four. If you heal ten, get plus four plus four and taunt on turn four. And the closest I think you can get is playing this and then flash of light yourself the following turn and then either benevolent gin or flash of light again. I, I'm not sure if you. Mm. Oh wait, I guess you could go holy light. So you go blood claw, swing into something, flash of light. Swing into something holy light, but I don't even know if you'll heal ten by then. You probably don't want to play holy light in your deck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's really yeah. bad. I mean, I don't know. I might play holy light if I could get it every time, and then have a four mana eight eight with taunt on turn four every I time. Think the That's way that this deck is going to work good. out, the heal paladin's not going to be control. It's going to be like mid range. It's going to run like the four three or the four mana three two rush heal guy. It's going to run like the blood claw, the one mana one three deal damage to yourself. And, and uh, happy ghoul in that whole package, and just be like mid range. Be oh, happy. Ghoul. I mean, it's gonna run like light wardens and crap like that too, right? Like, yeah, I think you play like light wardens. You play like the the horsey and the spirit horse thing, like the zero three four. No, it's a tiger. Four mana zero three tiger and blessing it kings and spike ridge steed. And you just try and get ahead on tempo. Play the tiger thing. Play your buff cards. Spirit tiger with blessings of kings is actually insane. Your tiger is just one of the most broken cards in the whole set. Yeah, yeah, I think tiger is really good. Yeah, I think uh, that card just pushes the whole mid range pressure paladin, and then like the heal cards, you just jam them in there. Yeah, but the panty, I think. Do you think it's even paladin, or do you think it's just not an odd or even paladin? It's just like a regular paladin. I mean, I could see it being even paladin as well. Yeah, I could see even or regular. 
either mm-hmm. or you know mm-hmm. um but yeah mm-hmm. i think that is going to be very very strong <laughs> yeah they'll be well they definitely could use something that's not odd paladin in their and even paladin in their uh their arsenal here a little bit later um okay so flash light we just uh you know flash light we talked about a little bit here but what do you guys think? I mean, obviously, compared to Holy Light, this is like stupidly better. <laughs> but, mm. but uh, overall, is it good? It's really good. It's a good card. Yep. Well, let's see play. I don't know. Control Paladin still seems iffy in my book, even though they've gotten a lot of great tools for Control Heal Paladin. They're still missing that one key thing, which is a way to finish the game against other control decks. Every other yeah. control deck is a lot better at closing the game than Paladin is. So yeah. uh, I think a lot of the times Paladin's gonna suffer just due to the fact that it has no really solid closer which then might make flash of light not see any play That's but i fair. do think flash of light's yeah. a good card i i i'm kind of leaning towards that i'm leaning towards that these end games are still not clear i can i mean i, I still don't see a new end game for paladin i see a great mid game for paladin oh yeah but you oh, know, yeah. we're still talking the only real you know legitimate unique end game for paladin has just been the combo right um you know, building some giant minion is so easy to kill these days. It's not like a big deal. So, uh, yeah, I think Paladin's still in a weird situation. But we've got this last card here, Faraki Battle Axe. Five mana, three, three, overkill. Give a minion in your hand, plus two, plus two. I think that this is in contention for the worst card in the set. <laughs> really? I'm with Firebat right there. I think this card really? is awful. Really? You think it's well, like yeah. one of the worst cards? Wow. You spend five mana for a bad weapon, and then you have to also overkill <laughs> weapons. That's and true. allows you to hand buff. So it's like it's the worst way to hand buff available in the game and it's a bad weapon, so it's bad immediately on the board. Brass knuckles is better. Yeah. And it's situational. Wow. It's like it's got a lot of negative going for it because yeah, when is your opponent just gonna have a bunch of two health minions on turn it's five? five. Yeah. You need to hit uh, yeah, I, I know. It's I have a even... question about Flash of Light, though. Okay. Um, um, you know Immortal Prelate? Uh, the two-mana 1-3 Death Rattle Shuffle this into your deck. It keeps any enchantment. Never mind. All right, never mind. I'm reading it wrong. You All don't right. get to okay. draw more cards. No, you don't no. get to... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was thinking it was yeah. like... Uh, I thought the card was like Primal Fin Champion, where you cast the flashlight on it, and you would get the flashlight back to your hand. And oh. then I realized it's it shuffles it into the deck with enchantments, right. not puts it back in the hand so mm-hmm. ignore uh, my question it was pretty dumb mm-hmm. okay so battle axe <laughs> yeah so battle axe okay candidate for worst card in in the set okay all right i mean there, there aren't that many bad cards to be honest so like uh, you know this just having outright value that doesn't happen <laughs> potentially is is definitely uh, an attribute of, of something that's re- very very bad so uh okay let's uh, classify these blood claw uh what do we need to say? I'm, I'm a tentative keep. <laughs> okay, okay. Me too. I'm a keep for okay. now. I'm a keep as well, just assuming that heal paladin would be a thing. Flash of light. That's just God, it's it's, it's tough to say. Flash of light's clearly a good card. It's just like right. keep keeping dust just really depends on meta, really. So, I think it's a good card that won't see any play. But it's a good card. <laughs> it'll see play in arena. <laughs> I'll give it a keep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Jace, what do you think? Keep. Yeah, I'm gonna say keep for flashlight. I think it's. I think it's. I think it will see play at one point. Jace is. Like, Jace is like our harshest critic, man. <laughs> well, I, you gotta be, man. <laughs> like when I you know, got wild growths and nourishes running around. All right, Faraki, that's a dust all, all the way across. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so we're okay. We're almost through the, all the classes now. So, wait, do we skip shaman? Oh, I know. I just didn't add Shaman. Yeah, add Shaman here in a second. Okay, so Priest is next. Got a lot of Priest cards. Um, so we got Generate. It's a zero mana card. Restore three health. We're just talking about four health here, but three health. All right, it's definitely something. Uh, I mean, kind of boring. This is like old school Priest spells that are, are, are basically single functioned and nothing else. Uh, does Priest need a three restore three health type of card? Go with Lyra. No. I mean, they have yeah. circle healing already. I think it's yeah. you might get it off of Lyra and be happy, but I don't yeah, think uh, you can put a, it in your yeah. deck on purpose. I agree with that. Yeah, no, I'd say, yeah, Lyra kind of buff, I guess. Um, all right, Seance, two mana, choose a minion, add a copy of it to your hand. That's it's good with Radiant Elemental. 
So you <laughs> go into radiant elementals and do live shenanigans uh, and stuff. Okay. But okay. Uh, overall, find a way to get Antonidas. That way you can, you know, yeah. really OTK them. I think it's pretty bad. Yeah, choose another way to put down another Lich King <laughs> or another another Valen or another. Yeah, yeah. It's just again, it's just it's so. Oh man, that's the one bad thing I hate about these priest spells. It's just they're they're so one dimensional. Like you can't really do that much outside of Lyra. Like when Lyra Lyra's gonna leave in the reset. So when Lyra's gone, it's gonna be like, oh man, these priest spells all like are pointless. Like they're gonna exist for no reason. Um, okay, let's see. Next one we have a minion, three mana, three three, sand drudge. Common. Whenever you cast a spell, summon a one one zombie with taunt. I like this card. I think it's yeah. Good. yeah. I, I like it too. I think it's good. I think it's good. I, I'm scared because it's going to exist when Overkill gets released. So it's like maybe not the best effect you want while <laughs> everyone's running Overkill cards. And they, the one wants taunt too. Oh man. Yeah. In That's general, cool. I think it's pretty strong because uh, it's a three mana three three. You can never really go too wrong with that, and then it's got a really good upside. That uh, I don't think you build around it or anything. I just think you know sometimes you play Shadow Visions or Power with Shield, and it's sweet. Yeah. There's not many minion only priest these days i mean they, they run plenty of spells just generally so uh jace you like it yeah i like sandredge i'm just uh it, it's a weird card to evaluate because it's not really like in a direction i think priest is at right now but i do think it's good and i do think it will see play yeah like the whole surrender thing is is like i feel like is in line with more of a a, a minion tempo-ish type of thing right like a bunch of cheaps cheap minions and and really taking that route with it you think a sand drudge would work with something like that like that that type of archetype i don't think the surrender card's that good but mm. i think there is a possibility for it to exist in that ecosystem i guess mm. uh okay uh, mass hysteria spell rare it's um four uh, five mana force each minion to attack another random minion so everybody just kind of like goes ham on each other and <laughs> starts hitting each other, killing each other. Um, yeah. how, I don't know how this works exactly. If yeah, allows, that's what I'm curious about. Some of the times these cards don't allow any illegal attacks to happen when it says attack a random minion. So like sometimes your minions can't attack each other. But if your minions can attack each other, then it's very good because uh, then it's the minions like can attack e like the minions can yeah. attack each other. I just okay. don't know. I don't know if you can like overkill and then it'll attack through overkill. If that makes sense. Right. True. We don't know that either. So it's kind of hard to know how. What, it's what do you mean attack o through overkill? So like, like what do, you mean do all that? the trades happen at the exact same time? Yeah. So like, if there's like an eight eight which then attacks oh, another like sequential eight, versus okay. Does the other eight eight attack still even though it's dead? Yeah, it's like how you can overkill yeah. an Acolyte of Pain or a Bitter Tide Hydra to deal an extra three damage or draw an extra card yeah. with like a Wild Pyromancer effect. Does it like like does a eight eight attack into an eight eight and then the other eight eight attacks into another? Well, I, eight, yeah, I would assume it attacks all at once. So I, I think every single minion makes an attack. And okay, yeah. and can certain minions get attack multiple times? So then, if they can all overkill each other, then can they attack one that's already been dead technically? So like if we have five one ones on the board can four one ones hit one of the one ones well you so know. again like i think every every minion has a target and attacks at the very at the same time like i think just, i think each attack, attack is actually time. individual there, there has to be like yeah. a clip of them playing this card somewhere right uh they didn't play it today though i don't think uh, I, okay. I, I don't think i saw it on stream today I think yeah. I think because I remember watching the uh, the comic book clip that they had, where it was like <laughs> like it was showing like the fun animation from the, the raunchy animation or whatever it is that like mm -hmm. really good animation that they do, and I'm pretty sure I saw them like do each attack individually. Oh, so oh, that's a huge difference. That's, well, yeah, if a that's a dies, big difference. Yeah, yeah. So we don't but know. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, but it, so the orders is random too. I have no clue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it might just be yeah, all the same. The order is random, but like we don't know if one minion can defend multiple attacks, and we don't know right, if, right. Um, if a minion's dead, does it still get an attack? If it's or not? one at a time, I would assume if it does. Okay, dies, I've got so a tweet here from Peter Whalen. It okay. says okay, Minions cool. can attack their friends. Deaths don't resolve until the spell is done. Okay. So all the death rattles okay. happen after. If a minion goes to zero health, it can't attack or be attacked. Oh. So yeah, if 
it can't attack or be attacked. So if like you have two giants and a third minion, and then the yeah, one giant so kills the other giant, the third minion is just chilling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm this... going to say this card's probably bad, and the merits of no one knows what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> bad design, or at least bad wording, or whatever. It's just going to be right? very hard to yeah. set this up for it to be desirable with, under these uh, RNG conditions. And it seems like board clears are something that you want to be quite reliable. So, yeah, because well, if the board clear doesn't work, you're dead. And yeah, you but, need it to work. And if it doesn't work 30% of the time, you're just dead 30% of the time. And that's <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, think, I think against, I think against like aggro type of boards, it's probably pretty good, to be honest, at, at five mana. Maybe. Um, you know, what if there's still stuff left over against bigger boards? I don't think this card's as good. You know, like obviously, a, this is a five screen. mana. Sometimes clear half the board. Yeah, but yeah. So it's holy, I guess holy <laughs> nova is the same thing. I don't holy nova is the exact same thing, right? So uh, it's, it's like, like a really bad brawl. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's brawl, but sometimes you live, sometimes you die. <laughs> well, sometimes two or three people live, and sometimes yeah. you know, it's like very rare that probably everybody dies. Uh, okay, well, we're, we're, I think I think a lot of people are going to have to try it out, and then we'll we'll probably see some numbers on this eventually. Um, okay, next up we've got the I think the champion for uh, the priest. It's eight mana seven five uh, legendary princess Talanji. Is it Talanji? Uh, battle. Cry, I think so. Yeah, battle cry summon all minions from your hand that didn't start in your deck. Yeah, it's a meme card. Yeah, that's like. Damn, why do I have to make a meme card for this, man? Your yeah. Seance deck and stuff like that. Yeah. Ooh, I like the Seance deck. Form a little <laughs> mass hysteria going on. Priest, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it looks unexciting. This, yeah. uh, this, yeah. this set. No love for the priest. Yeah, don't. Well, yeah, don't I should like that. seances. <laughs> you do? Really? Okay. Unless, unless you, you like get, seances. Oh, unless you like seances. I thought you. I said. Yeah. I thought you said you like seances. I'm like. Wow. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Some voodoo magic going on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Akanai Phantasm. This is actually one. Um. I don't think I saw on the stream, but two mana, three two. I, well, actually, no. I think Kibler mentioned it. Battlecry. This. This turn, your healing effects deal damage instead. Epic. Kind of something we've seen in the past. Yeah, this is exactly okay. like Embrace the Shadows, except for it has a body attached to it, which sometimes is better, sometimes is worse. Because Embrace the Shadows was played in a Big Priest for a while, but this one you can't play in Big Priest because you would dilute the pool of the minions. But also having a body sometimes would just be better, especially against like an aggro deck to get it out cheaper. But a lot of times you're doing this plus Circle, so it's going to die anyways. I think it's good. I do think it's good though. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. So two mana three, two mana three twos are good, and then uh, on top of that, it has further upside. It's synergized with your hero power, uh, and just tons of other cards, including randomly you generate. generate. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I'm I'm into this. I think this is just powerful. I agree with Fire on this one. Cool. All right, let's let's rate these. Generate dust. Mm -hmm. Uh, good off Lyra dust. Yeah. All right, dust all around. Seance, dust. Dust. Uh, Sandrudge. Keep. I'm going to say keep. Um, Jay? Yeah, keep. Okay. Mass Hysteria. Dust. I'm going to say keep, actually, on Mass Hysteria. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. You're saying dust, Firebat? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, dust. Okay, okay. Uh, Princess Solange, that's a dust. Meme. Oh, it's meme, yeah, yeah, meme. You know someone's gonna, you know someone's gonna like, dog yep. steal something and then just play this, <laughs> yeah, and true. it's gonna like end the game. <laughs> yeah. All right, Akanai Phantasm. That's a keep. I think it's keep definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So how many classes we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We haven't seven. done shaman. We haven't done shaman. Okay, let me bring shaman up here. And. Did Mage get anything new? I think oh, yeah, Mage, yeah, Mage. Is... No, we didn't do Mage either. Yeah, both of those. I think Mage only had, like, one new card that maybe uh, I'm wrong. No, they had, they had a few. They had three, I oh, think. Oh, okay. Oh, let me, okay. Let me bring them up. Where is it? Like, having trouble finding this, my directory. I have all these things in. Oh. Big Bad Voodoo. Big Bad Voodoo. 
So are you, when you're casting this stuff, Jay, are you, are you going to be uh, using the accent? Um, for Don to take off. That's <laughs> not it. Okay. I'm expecting that from both of you guys when you cast. All right. Um, okay. So we've got uh, Mage here. So first off, we got a spell. Zero mana. Just all these zero mana spells now. Elemental ev Evocation. It's a common card. The next elemental you play this turn costs two less. It's insane. Yeah, it's, it's really like good. Innervate. It's pretty no pre like innervate. Yeah. Yep. You get to innervate out your water elemental. So there's a, there, there's all this stuff that's <laughs> <laughs> there's all this stuff that's like elemental last turn, you know, all these like arc I kind of saw here. So is elemental gonna be like legit? Is it gonna be strong enough now? You can literally uh, play Dustbreaker and Mage now. You this could be uh, probably the elemental kind of like controlling mid rangey mage that like Kibler is going to play and stuff like that. Yeah. And then probably going to be an aggro mage where you just innervate out a water elemental turn one and kill people with it. <laughs> turn one, four drops. Turn are really one, good. four drops pretty good. Coin <laughs> innervate News. water yeah. elemental. Yeah. Coin Go. innervate any four drop with fireball in your deck will kill people. Like, yeah. it, it, no way it doesn't. <laughs> By turn five and, or six, and, and the difference like, with mage, life. the mage actually has an end game with with Jane, right. so it's it's a lot different. <laughs> with you just play here. book of specters to keep drawing aggro elementals. Yeah, oh, I'm like this fire bat. Innervate, like people would coin innervate out four drops and then finish with savage roar. And fireball's a hell of a lot better than savage roar. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's true. It's uh, somebody just asked, got does a it lot stack? Yeah, I'm almost positive elemental evocation will stack. Like if you play two of them, so yeah. Um, Okay, so speaking yes. uh Arcanosaur, you know, just mentioned that. Six mana, three three elemental. Um Battle Cry, if you played an elemental last turn, deal three damage to all other minions. You can play Dustbreaker and Mage now. You can just elemental evocation out this. It's just right. Dustbreaker. A lot of people are saying that they don't like it because it costs six, but if Dustbreaker costs six, I would play it in every dragon deck still. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's okay. still damn it's, good. <laughs> six is like the break point, though. If it costs seven, it would be bad. But like all the three threes come out of the board on turn five. Turn five, their fungal mans are in their one ones into three threes. They're leveling up and their recruits into three threes. They're playing the spell stone and generating three threes and hunter. Just everybody makes three threes on turn five, and then this comes down exactly on turn six. So it's just fast enough to hit that sweet spot. Yeah, it's uh, very good. I mean, turn seven, we're talking flame strikes, anyways, that people play like in arena and I maybe mean, not so much in standard, but you know, like this is so much better than that. Uh, okay. The only issue I can see with it is it's a little bit more conditional than Dustbreaker. Like Dustbreaker, you of just course. have to have the dragon. Like yeah. this one, you have to actually like physically set up with the intent of playing it the next turn. Right. Pretty easy to build a deck, though. That, Still that think it's makes good, though. it natural. I mean, that you can easily make that pretty natural. Um, Okay, uh, let's see. The last thing we have here is a three-mana spell, Splitting Image. It's a epic. It's a secret. When one of your minions is attacked, summon a copy of it. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's kind of interesting. I mean, obviously, it would it would force you to not play like one <laughs> one help minions or something like that on the board. But there's no like happy taunt minion. Thing I want like, with the... Can you do like Giants Mage and you just play a giant and then you? Well... Why would they hit the giant? They would go face and then use spells to remove the giant. Things that are too big to get value off this get removed with removal. And things that, that are true. small enough to get traded into, you don't get any value off this. So fundamentally, I think the card just doesn't work because of those kind of rules of the game. But... I mean, Lich King. Who's trading Lich giants King? into your Lich King? That doesn't happen. They're going <laughs> to. You don't know that. <laughs> well, for sure, like, they will not do it now. <laughs> like, for sure, right, they like, won't do it now. Yeah. People don't minion combat down your 8 8s. That doesn't happen. So the card never gets value. Okay, what if we go. What if uh, it's water elemental value? What if it's just four mana value? And it's so. Oh, it's think about good. that. What if we go like coin elemental evocation out like some huge elemental and then we play this and they have to attack into it or well, they're gonna and die. they naturalize it <laughs> and they're like ah darn it <laughs> oh, darn it okay There's... he played around my secret <laughs> <laughs> well okay so let's think of it from this standpoint is it does it make it more difficult for your let's think of all the secrets that are used like counter spell um uh, what's what's another one that she's normally like the the rune right like i'm just trying to think of like as it being a secret and, and kind of mixed with the other secrets is it any harder for your opponent 
if, if this it's is It's going to be annoying if my opponent glyphs it. Yeah, I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's definitely a different trigger effect than other secrets have. So, you know, it, off random effects and when a secret comes into play, something to think about. But I, I don't think it's a good card. And maybe I agree with that. get it off a random effect and it can be able to confuse them. But yeah, it's yeah. really pretty bad. Is the card place. is the card Scorch new? Um, I don't think I don't see you have Scorch. that one up there. Oh, Scorch! Yeah, uh, is it Scorch or is it Scorch? I, I think it's Scorch. Okay, Scorch. <laughs> Let me see. I, can, um, I can bring it up though. I ha I have it here somewhere. Okay. Um, I thought that one just got like announced today or something or like recently. Uh, I thought I had it. Okay, maybe it was maybe it was last week. I don't. Yeah, I can look it up. Uh, it could have been last just, just week. Go ahead, was, just go it, ahead and go ahead. And, what were you gonna say about it though? Yeah, I, was just, I just didn't know if it was new or not, if, like, if people had seen it before. Because I thought it just came out, because this is my first time, like, seeing it. Oh, no, I think it did come out. For some reason, I didn't see it on my my list of things. So, um, and let me bring it up real quick. Go ahead, and, go ahead and talk about it, though, if you want. It is deal four damage to a minion costs one if you played an elemental last turn. So it is, like, a wing blast for mage yeah, right. that when you go innervate, innervate, water elemental you can then scorch something to protect your water elemental yeah <laughs> no face it's very good it's very that's high crazy <laughs> that's so, crazy good innervate and wing blast in the same deck is absurdly powerful <laughs> so i think elemental aggro mage is just a thing that'll kill people very quickly um it's also good in the mid-range variant i don't think the mid-range variants is powerful though because it kills people slower Okay. It's okay. a high tempo card. Tempo yeah. is usually best served in aggro. No, I think people will like that. I mean, obviously, all the tempo mage players. It's not going to be as fast as tempo mage was. I don't believe. Right. Like this whole. It's going to be more yeah. Yeah. mech magey kind of feel. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. The same will also solid, cost though. one for like the majority of the game because you're constantly playing elemental into elemental. You can play with Antonitis as well, so you can like play an elemental the previous turn, then Antonitis scorch something. It's pretty sweet. Mm, okay. All right. Yeah, Mage is looking up. I mean, I think I think this this expansion has been pretty good for Mage, um, and lots of interesting things and 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 pretty cool power and synergy. Uh, all right, let's rate these Elemental Evocation. Uh, it's, that's a definite keep. Keep um, keep. Innervate's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You think zero mana Innervate's good? Uh, all right, Splitting Image. Dust. Yeah, dust. Very Too dust. Bad. It'd be cool if it was playable, though, for whatever reason. Uh, Arcanosaur, that's a keeper. Keep. All right. And then Scorch, a keep. Yeah, definitely yeah, good yeah. mage. Like, There's not many mage spells that are bad. Like, or mage cards that they've come out with that, are, that have been bad. So kudos to the person or a group of people doing the mage cards. Uh, okay. And then lastly, we've got Shaman here, which is... Uh, let me find it. Shaman, where are you? Here we go. Okay, so there's seven Shaman cards. Uh, lots of them, obviously. T uh, announced this last week. One mana, Totemic Smash, Commons. It's a, a spell. Deal two damage, overkill, summon a basic totem. <sighs> like these basic totem things, man. I mean, every time I see basic totem like on a, on a card, I just I almost instantly want to dust it. So what do you guys think? I think this two damage really is not bad. Two damage ain't bad though. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, cards in the game that do one mana deal two damage. You know, arcane shot, the most vanilla of them because it doesn't have any extra effect on that. And then yeah. there's living roots and things of that nature. Well, almost every class is a one mana deal two damage now, and they're all generally pretty playable depending on what archetype the deck you're going for. And it's nice to have removal in shaman that doesn't overload you in the early game because right now they just have zap and bolt, so that all their removal options overload you. So. Yeah. An option that doesn't overload you is really good, and it also opens up Malagos potential because it can go face. So now you have Lightning Bolt, you have Totemic Smash, yeah, and Flash Shock as Malagos spells. So now you can Eureka and launch four spells at the face for 20 Malagos buff damage plus however much damage your four spells have done. So there's a lot of you know OTK Malagos Shaman potential there with uh, six uh, face damaging spells for them. Yeah. 
So basically, the overkill is ignored. <laughs> like with all those things that you said. Oh yeah, all the overkill is definitely. Yeah, it's a one minute two spell. I mean, it's, sometimes, sometimes it's nice. I guess sometimes right, you're against right. odd paladin. You <laughs> need to remove something, and you get a token. Yes. But in, yeah. in general, I think the overkill is just icing on the cake. And the main purpose of the card is it's arcane I mean, shot. If you got the one one every time, it'd actually be pretty good. You know, like if you, yeah. you know, that'd be pretty, re you know, nice or whatever. But you know, getting zero twos is just like, oh, okay. What do you think, Jace? This card. I think it's good. I think it's definitely playable. I'm excited to see if Malagos Shaman is a thing. I was thinking about it, and the more I think about it, the less I'm kind of like on the Malagos Shaman train. Really? Because although yeah. although you deal, I think it's 30 damage if you have all four one mana spells. Like although you deal that much damage, you have to assemble a combo of six cards in hand, which for Shaman is like <laughs> not the like greatest to get to. Because like the reason it's so prevalent in Druid, where you have like five card combos because you have UI, Nourish, Wadger, like you have all these tools where a shaman you're like yeah, it's hesitant, but I do like Spirit of the Frog uh, because I think Spirit of the Frog would be played in that deck, so I I think uh, Systemic Smash is good and I think it might see play. Okay, well let's talk about Spirit of the Frog. Three mana, zero, three. Uh, it's a rare stealth for one turn. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a spell from your deck that costs one more. But it has to be from your deck. So that's yes. that's the yeah. Anyways. Yeah, it's a yeah. it's a cool deck building challenge. It's definitely a fun yeah. design. Yeah. Um, you have to play two mana spells with it, which scares me because then you can't play Kaliseth. <laughs> Kaliseth is pretty good, so you have to cut your Kaliseth. Uh, so it's definitely not going to be in like Shutterwalk Shaman because Shutterwalk Shaman wants to play Kaliseth with the chain gangs and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, it could work as the card draw engine for the Malagos Shaman if you can engineer it appropriately. It just gets really weird, especially with Overload in Shaman. It makes it even more yeah. challenging because you're oh, not just wow. drawing your curve yeah. with it. You're drawing things with overloaded spells, and then it gets really wonky. But it is uh, it's unique, and I think at some point maybe we'll see some weird, wacky meme deck with it. But I never, I don't think it's going to be uh, like a tier one deck ever. I think it's just too difficult. There's too much restriction when you factor in the fact that there's overload cards in Shaman that you'd have yeah. to use this. Mm, that's true. I wonder if there, you know, like this whole Malagus Shaman talk, like, is there any type of minion element to it in the beginning? <laughs> I mean, most of, you know, what you see, I think, from, from you know, just these shamans and drawing cards and whatnot are just, mo it's mostly spells, right? Like, compared to, say, Malagus Druid, right? Malagus Druid has kind of a, a mid-game, mid you know, that, that people have to deal with, you know, whether it's just, you know just straight defense or whatnot but you know th there are actually things on the board that people have to generally have to you know trying to try to uh you know they have to decide whether they want to remove it or if they want to just ignore it with shaman do we have the same type of thing here i mean that, that's that been the biggest issue with me for me with shaman it's just like it there's just like you just put minions on the board and they, they either have to remove it or not like there's not much much diversity to how they get to the end game is that the same with shaman like w in terms of malagus well, we don't have any like mana ramp to get to our mana. Right, well, that too. Ramp I mean, yeah. to skip the early game, so uh, we have to play things and most like of the zero threes bad. though. <laughs> you know, like yeah, things yeah, are just, we like, play, like completely un. Yeah, like they're they're not even that's, dangerous. That's right, our so. problem for the other team to answer is mana time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, big bad voodoo two mana epic spell. Give a friendly minion death rattle summon a random minion that costs one more. It's like a delayed evolve. It's like a like, yeah. dive right into the dumpster. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah. You don't think yeah, it's that good? Yeah. I think it's really, really bad. Uh, uh, delayed evolve also means um, you can't buffer yourself against the RNG of evolve effects. Right now, with unstable evolution, if yeah. you get a bad roll, roll again. And then, you know, you can yeah. choose whether or not you want to invest more into it, which is why I think un unstable evolution is such a beautifully designed card mm -hmm. because you get a control the rng which is awesome uh there are a lot of low points where when you're evolving you hit total garbage so yep. i think this card's like super high game deciding rng when you put it on something a lot of the time and um yeah, there's a, a there's a lot of bad hits on big minions yeah. nowadays like I, I think evolve's gotten worse you know so like you said unstable right. is a great great way to 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 stem that a bit but yeah, one shot. Oh man, you're gonna miss like thirty for twenty percent of the time, probably. Um, yeah. All right. Bog, oh, go ahead. 
yet last well, it's just slow it's just like so incredibly slow too mm-hmm. uh box slasher three mana three three elemental battle cry return a friendly minion to your hand and give it plus two plus two man shaman's shaman getting some sh- terrible cards here i don't well, like this i don't like this, I card think this guy sees play really I think yeah. better it's better than zola so i really? think i cut zola from my shutter walk and put this in and that's oh, like, uh, i see i see it's okay, the only yeah, place yeah, i see yeah. it seeing any play at all just that one that's one spot <laughs> yeah okay I, I see what you mean yeah if you if you use it purely as a zola like you don't even care about the buff as much you know it's i just it's care like, about the three three yeah the bouncing of it okay yeah that's a good point um jay do you agree on that one yeah i mean it's just like you cut zola for this and shadow rock shaman it's a three three body which is better than obviously zola's body um there'll be fringe scenarios where i guess you can bounce something back and then utilize it later with like maybe like an acolyte of pain or something like that or a manatide totem just making it bigger and mm-hmm. they try to bump into it those are very niche scenarios but i think it's mostly just that it gives you another enabler in shadow rock shaman um that isn't zola because zola's kind of gross yeah, it's always bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Haunting Visions. Three mana spell. Epic. The next spell you cast this turn costs three less. Discover a spell. So this is one of the cards that people were talking about Malagas, uh, you know, Shaman a lot. It's, you know, just because it's got that, um, you know, it's got that, that discount flavor to it, which has uh, always been huge. So you guys think this is going to be super good? I don't think for Malagos Shaman because it's only uh, this turn. It doesn't like preserve the discount like Primordial Glyph would. Right, right. But in general, I think it's good because it reads, you know, zero mana discover a spell, which is pretty good. You know, you have to invest yeah. the additional three mana and commit to playing a spell that turn. But if like you're going to lightning storm this turn anyway, then you play this, then you lightning storm, and you just could discover a spell on top of it for zero mana. So zero mana things are generally good, and you can probably pick something that's appropriate for the situation. Shaman has a lot of spells that are very, very powerful, and then there has a lot of spells that are very, like, um, uh, you need a different one for each matchup. You know, like some matchups you need more AoE, some matchups you need healing more of, and then some matchups you need development. Yeah. And with, like, Queen of Toads and Feral Spirits now, now you have, like, actually a lot of ways that you can just generate an extra minion off this. You generate healing. You could generate single target removal in forms of, like, Hex and stuff like that. And then you can also generate AOE. So there's just like a lot of, you know, different spells you could get for the matchup, I think. So, you know, obviously you're going to have to feel it out and do run the numbers and figure out what are the percent chances <laughs> to discover these effects and is it worth it. But I think it's definitely a contender because Zero Man Discover a spell. If there's uh, decent options, it'll be good. I think it's really good. You think I think it's a really good good? card. Okay. Like, I, I like it because it also, they're like, it works really well with the new spirit card they introduced with Spirit of the Frog. So, like, you play Spirit of the Frog and it has stealth, and you go into this and you play Haunting Visions. You then draw a hex from your deck, so you're not worried about, like, answering a lot of minions with hex. You then can discover a spell. You then can decide whether you want to play that hex that turn. And maybe, like, you might not necessarily draw a two-mana spell, but you could also just, like, play a zero-mana storm, like you were saying. And then you draw, like, a one-mana spell, which, like, it gets you closer to the Malagos condition. So, like... I think this is like, I think it's really good. Mm-hmm. That's my opinion. Wow, that combo is pretty crazy. Actually, combo yeah. sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah it sounds like there's an immense amount of options, and you know, like, and it always like happens yeah. on turn four because frog has stealth. Yeah, like right, unless right. they like hellfire the frog man. If they're doing that, that means like they're not doing other things. Right. No, that's cool. Uh, speaking of frogs, or I don't even know if that's a frog. It looks like Jabba the Hutt more than it looks like frog. Oh, it's definitely a frog. <laughs> it's a six mana, four, six beast. Yeah, it's a frog. Cragwall, the frog. Duh, duh. Uh, legendary battle cry. Return all spells you played last turn to your hand. Okay, so you'd have to have played a bunch of spells the previous hand. So, I don't know. You're probably going to get one. I mean, you're not going to play this guy unless you get one, right? So, two maybe? Would you get three? I mean... Shaman spells aren't crazy cheap normally, right? Like maybe so zap and lightning bolt, lightning bolt, bolt. totemic smash, totemic smash, and then play the frog and then do it again. Okay. <laughs> and then do it okay. again. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So even and just like no buffs on that, we're talking ten damage, right? Ten damage, yeah. do it again. Okay. That's I nice. like it. That's I pretty think damn it's nice, done. dude. That's pretty good. There's got to be two turn lethals like all over the place. Oh, it's sure. It played last turn, so it just seems pretty strong. Getting more volcanoes. You go volcano and then play this. You know. 
Yeah. I just think it's funny that you get all the unstable good, evolutions dude. back. So like, oh, if you gosh. played like if you played oh, like multiple God. unstable evolutions, you get all of them back. Do you really? So it's really fun. Yeah. You fill your hand with unstable evolutions. That's crazy. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, because it counts as is an individual cast each time, right? So. I also like the art on it because he's eating a person. I think that's really cute. <laughs> It's like literally Jabba the Hutt there. Um, okay, last thing. War one. Uh, it's a minion one two one Warbringer. It's a one mana two one Warbringer common battle cry. If you played two spells this turn, deal two damage. You know we're just playing aggro shaman at this point. We're just totemic smash face, totemic smash face, and then play this guy for a third totemic smash it's face. The new hunter man. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah. I, I I think so. It sounds right wow. to me. I don't like it in aggro as much. I mean, it's like interesting in not not aggro, but like pure face, I guess. But um, I don't think it's got enough support that goes with it. No, me either. I just think it's funny. Yeah, like a shaman wants to play flame ten totem. That's their yeah. premier aggro card. And in that shell, you want to play minions that go wide on the board. And so, like, you're not going to be playing a whole ton of burn spells. It's just more of a token synergy kind of class because it's got better cards for that style of play. Mm -hmm. So I think that this kind of gets phased out by Flame Tongue Totem. <laughs> wow. I agree with that. Okay. okay. All right. Well, uh, pretty interesting for Shaman. You know, definitely uh, a lot different than Shutterwalk, <laughs> which has been pretty much all everybody's been playing. Uh, I guess even Shaman, too. Even uh, yeah. Looking at Looks these like cards, a lot of odd cards mail. here. Yeah. Mally Shaman is looking yeah, like Yeah, I'm like a Mally yeah. Shaman. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's rate the Totemic Smash. That's a keep. Yep, yeah, keep. I think across the board. Uh, Big Bad Voodoo. It sounds like dust. a dust across the board. Good off Hagatha, but I'm going to say dust. Yeah. Spirit of the Frog. I think this one's... I think it's a keep. Might be a... I think it's a dust. Okay, so... I Jay... don't believe. <laughs> no, I believe in the Spirit of the Frog. I don't know. I think Jay's got me there, man. I, or... Jace has convinced me. Like some of those scenarios are pretty interesting, actually. Um, Bog Slasher. That's keep. It's a keep just because it's better than Zola. It has no competition. Yeah. Uh, Haunting Visions. Keep. That's a keep. That card's just good. Uh, Cragwall the Frog. That's a keep for me. Yeah, it's a keep. Yeah, it's a keep. Okay. Oh, Jay, you're finally over. You're more keeps than dust now. Um, oh, because Shaman, I think Shaman got a lot of good stuff. Like, I'm excited yeah. for Shaman. And the Warbringer, that's a dust. Dust. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so that's all the class cards. Um, neutral cards, we'll probably need to go through much quicker here. Actually, there's not that many, but let's just kind of look at them. We're going to look at our, uh, just, uh, we're going to look at the, the cards on Hearthbone here. Um, I didn't get a chance to see some of these, because they didn't show all of these. So, um, yeah, kind of going through the, first row of them we got a we got a four mana epic three five ice cream peddler uh which is battle cry if you control a frozen minion gain eight armor um dust yeah i don't like that yeah. one i yeah. almost like never have a frozen minion in hearthstone i play yeah. a lot of hearthstone it <laughs> very rarely happens that my minions are frozen and it is very rare that i'm controlling when they are frozen <laughs> you tell me you don't want to like try and glacial shard your own minion and then play ice cream peddler <laughs> no i think that's bad i mean your best chance is like a mage or something you know some, cryostasis some, yeah i don't know it's Freeze bad. shaman push yeah. Freeze shaman. <laughs> I, I, li I like the theme though on this guy. ice cream peddler that's pretty cool i have to, yeah, I have to say that's definitely pretty cool it's, it's like the water boy but ice cream female version um, Very good. <laughs> all right, <laughs> next one: three mana Drakari Trickster Epic. It's a three-four minion battle cry. Give each player a copy of a random card from your opponent's deck. That's got meme written all over it. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's a three mana three-four. It's pretty solid body, but it, you know, it feels it, like it's uh, the meme three mana three-four. I don't know. That might see play somewhere. Uh, like if you're just playing. Kind of like a mid rangey deck. You want some control tools or something? But there's that three mana three five now that you'd play over this. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. You probably it, haven't it, seen the three mana three five. Yeah, yet. yeah, it's coming up. It's it, coming up. Yeah, it's just in general, it seems like it's got a lot of competition. Well, it's like, like um, what was the oh, mage card a while back that the um, spell slinger? Yeah, hell, yeah, spell slinger. It kind of has the feel of that, which right. It's okay. I mean, it was a good body too, right? Like it was, it was solid, and people played it, but I don't know. It didn't seem to. 
mm-hmm. have a huge impact. Uh, okay, yeah. what do you rate these? Which, rate this one. Dust. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But it's meme. It's got meme potential. Yeah, even the meme potential I think is limited. <laughs> Unless you go like super overboard. It's gonna be arena meme yeah. potential where like you take, you discover or like you get some like Deathwing out of their deck or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a Giribashi offering epic. At the start of your turn, destroy this and gain eight armor to one mana zero two. Eh. Dust. Eh. Yeah. I can't wait to play this on turn one and be like, got him. <laughs> <laughs> Got him and then shield slam or something. Yeah. My odd warrior. <laughs> yeah. All right, the next one. Uh, this one's kind of interesting. Five mana, three, three. Arena patron. Rare card Ooh. overkill. Summon another arena patron. So It combos with the rogue weapon. The one, three rogue weapon. Does it? What, it, that, it gives all your minions rush. So uh, I think, Does it no. only give minions currently on the board? Doesn't it, it doesn't say currently on the board. It says your minions have rush, right? It if it, give your if it's rush. death rattle though, right? Like, isn't it death? Yeah, it'll give your minions rush. Yeah, it's. Good I don't think. I don't think it's an aura effect. I think it's just like the minions okay. currently on the board. If it's an aura effect, it could have some sweet with arena patient. Then yeah. <laughs> no, no. The, I think the thing to do with this is Hellmaster. Hellmaster Shaw. Hellmaster Shaw. Because it's it's yeah. like curved too. Uh, that's yeah. also an aura as well. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty good. But I guess I mean you'd have to play against like something that has a bunch of small minions, obviously, but. God, Paladin, you just, you just win the game on turn yeah. five. You kill us. <laughs> you have to oh, kill us. Yeah, yeah. It too. I don't know. I kind of uh, like the, it. The, the, another one doesn't have the buff that kills that, though. Yeah. I mean, it's a meme. It's never going to be. Re- it's going to be a meme, but I'm really going to hate when I queue up Odd Paladin and I can't kill a Hellmaster Shaw and it's looking <laughs> at me and he's just going to arena patron into every one of my one ones. And I'm gonna be like, wow, I let this happen. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll put it out as a meme, too. Uh, all right, the new uh, the new BBB, the two mana three three booty bait Buki, <laughs> the Buki, uh, rare card battle cry. Give your opponent a coin. Two mana three three Terrible. is pretty. Two mana three three is pretty good though, right? But giving a coin sucks, obviously. The coin is worth more than one one of stats. Yeah, true. True that. Uh, same. You agree, Jace? Yep, I think it's bad. Dust dust. Uh, Serpent Ward, two mana, zero two totem. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to the enemy hero. This is a rare. Uh, this is bad. Exciting. Oh man, if only this was around when you know what it was it the uh, three two was around, so you like decrease the odds of getting. Oh yeah. I didn't oh, really, like I just realized yeah, it's a totem. Yeah. yeah. It's a totem. totem. I mean, does that that's mean? crazy. I mean, it doesn't, but it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's that seems like ridiculously underpowered yeah. right it's... like that that could be one of the worst that could be the worst card actually in the set you tell me you don't want to replace prince Kellyseth with two of these in your uh <laughs> your shadow arc shaman yeah i don't even know if i'd play this if it was totemic <laughs> might though oh even shaman with Look totemic out. might oh out, now we're cooking Look out. now we're cooking we go hero power one we play this on two and totemic might Got yeah him. this should be a two-two, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. I wouldn't even play it as a one-two. So, <laughs> Dude, a two-two uh, would be good. Like that a two-two, be this good. would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Shield breaker, two mana, two one. Battle cry, silence an enemy minion with taunt. So it's Army very back. specifically taunt. So yeah. two uh, mana, Iron Beak Bell. It's those, Iron th- back. It's those three, three twenty fours that they're afraid of, man. <laughs> I'd be scared of the three twenty four. Uh, okay, like playable. What do you think? Yes, I think it's a good tech yeah. card option for sure. Like it's a super low costed, so it's very flexible and can find its way into yeah. all sorts of aggro decks or as well just control decks um, that don't want to run spellbreaker. Running spellbreaker yep. stuff. So yeah. like a control warlock is going to run this instead of spellbreaker every single time. They already run iron gall instead of spellbreaker most of the time, and they would much prefer to run this when they're not, uh, you know, uh, odd only. So <laughs> yeah, I like right. it. Cool. All right, got got keeps for that. I uh, got eight mana, two four M- Moshog Enforcer, common taunt in divine shield, and it's a two fourteen. I mean, if we... basketball target. <laughs> Best. Uh, it's an eight man minion that doesn't do anything when it comes to play, so it's terrible. Divine Shield doesn't bad. help it enough, even for like Divine no, Spirit, Inner Fire, 
Yeah. It doesn't even like pressure the opponent. It's just I, uh, you're gonna play like um, the four eight battle cry deal two taunt instead of this for sure at eight mana primordial drink and stuff like that. Yeah. It's the only thing I can see with this card is it comes off Master Oak Heart. Yeah, oh, okay. that's the only thing. That's, true. that's the only thing. Yeah, Master Oak Heart. I'm trying to think of anything else. But then when you yeah. draw this, it feels so bad. Like, it feels worse than Dragon Hatcher. It, 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 given that it has two attack, too, it, it can die, too, to Priest so easily. Mind Spirit, Inner Fire, yeah. thing, people. But, yeah. Yeah. no. <laughs> Lady in White, man. Potential. Oh, now we're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Never, never happening. Okay, so we're gonna dust that one, right? Yeah, okay. for sure. Uh, Dragon Moss Scorcher, five mana. Oh, yeah, this is cool. The Dragon, three six. It's a common battle cry. Deal one damage to all other minions. So it's a dragon. It's kind of understated for five man, five mana um, uh, minion, but it does potentially clear some of the board, which could be pretty. Yeah. Good. It Synergizes really well with Warrior. Warrior has a lot of like good dragons too. They have the five mana shield maiden dragon now. Yeah, yeah. And so like this as well as to have a whirlwind for warrior attached to a three six is yeah. insane. So I think it's just a very powerful card for the dragon control warrior kind of thing. Yeah, they got the new execute thing too, right? So Yeah, the one mana deal four to damage minions. So you play this and then execute their guys. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Definitely That's think it's a good, good card. I just think it's competing in Warrior with the uh, um, Dynamatic. So, I still think well, it's good, though. Can you get mechs in the Dragon package? Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, maybe you just play only Dynamatic and Zilliax, and then... Yeah. I mean, I mean that right now you play Dynamatic, Zilliax, and the 3-6, Direhorn Hatchling. So, you cut Direhorn Hatchling for well, this you play the weapon, too, right? Like, oh, yeah. The, the weapon's, weapon's awesome. <laughs> like, the weapon's, like, amazing. So, I don't think... You cut, yeah, there's a lot of five drops in, in Warrior, right? Yeah, now. but it's it's odd Warrior. The half the deck's five drops. <laughs> That's true. Um, okay, let's give it a keep. This one. Yeah, I think it's the keep. board. Yep. Uh, former champ. It's five mana one one. Battle cry summon a hot shot. A five five hot shot. They are slowly getting like lower and lower with these cards. Like it started off as a six mana one one summon a six six. It's just slowly getting lower and lower. That's just a hot shot. Is a hot shot just... I, I'm assuming it's, it's just a 5-5. Five, five. Five. It's just a regular 5-5? Five, five? Okay. It doesn't have rush or anything, right? Like, No, it shouldn't, right? It's just a regular... Okay, yeah. I, these cards, they never work. <laughs> they go in trash, yeah. Yeah, and, it's and, just and, like... and it totally hurts Evolve. It's, it's so bad. Yeah. yeah. That's why they print them, just to hurt Evolve. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, okay, so that's a dust here. Mm-hmm. Um. Whoops. All right, we got uh, Rumble Tusk Shaker. Yes. Uh, four mana, three two de death rattle summon a three two Rumble Dust Breaker. Uh, we've seen yep. cards like this before. It's a dust. Never see play. Four mana. Next one, Arena Treasure Chest. A four mana zero four common death rattle draw two cards. <laughs> what? Best. I, mean, I really can't wait seriously? to play to that. Oh, I really can't wait to on, on curve cube I mean, it. This is like worse than the egg. It's like more expensive than the egg. Arena fanatic, give all minions in your hand plus one plus one, four mana two three common. Okay, this is like a hand buff type of card. Eh, I don't Dust. know. I don't like this Dust, card. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all these neutral cards are just like Well, the regenerating know. thug isn't terrible. Yeah, Giant Dung's interesting. I there also think Halftime Scavenger is interesting. Yeah, I think both of these are cool. Four mana, re Regenerating Thug, common at the start of your turn, restore two health to this minion. And it's a 3-5 body. Um, mm. And then Halftime Scavenger, same body, four mana, 3-5, but it's got stealth and, and overkill is gain three armor. So, um, I mean, I like these cards. I just don't have any idea what kind of deck. I mean, these are great cards. Like, They're like, good arena, arena cards. Arena cards yeah. are amazing. <laughs> But, the tortoise is just good. Yeah, but the Three tortoise, though. Five. The tortoise, you just put in zoo. Yeah, well, the tortoise, okay. Tortoise is one less. You just play the tortoise like every aggro five. deck. Yeah, any deck that you don't care about your life total, you play the tortoise. It just takes the Tar Creeper slot. It's yeah. better than Tar Creeper most of the time. Ordinary uh, tortoise, guys, is a, it's a three mana three five. Hunter now, like mid range beast hunter. That's yeah. the three drop. It's way better than animal companion. Curve on to Houndmaster, make it a four seven. Oh, now yeah. we're talking. Dude, how yeah, many times that... have we talked about that curve? <laughs> like in the past, 
three minutes. This is an amazing three minutes into the four mana Helm Master. But yeah, but this one I guess is a little. This bit is the card Silithid Swarmer wishes it was. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's true. That's a good point. Um, yeah. So ordinary Taurus guys, three mana, three five beast. Deal five damage to your hero for battle cry. Um, okay, so let's rate these. Regenerating Thug. I'm keeping regenerating Thug. I, I keep regenerating cool. Thug. What were you saying, Firebat? Sorry. <laughs> I was just saying, I think it's pretty sweet. Get it out early, take some value trades, have it heal back up, take more value trades, be annoying. Maybe yeah. it's good in, like, Inner Fire Priest or something, you know? Yeah, you just keep buying some you just keep Maybe. on itself, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, okay. Halftime Scavenger? Uh, I'm going to say Dust on that one, I, but, I'm like... Dust. It's too hard to get overkill consistently. Well, I mean, I think yeah. it's super good against aggro, but it's, like... It would have to be just some anti-aggro deck, and I have no idea what synergy, what else there would be for this card. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna dust that one too. Ordinary tortoise, that's a keep. I that's a good. That's a, a keep. Really that's a keep good card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk about bananas now. Three mana, two two banana buffoon. About this is gonna be the card that gets someone in chat going copy your bosses. Hand. <laughs> Add two bananas to your hand. All right, so not Makala because the banana, bananas go to you. Oh, actually, it's more like the other Makala, the uh, the second Makala, um, King Makala. But um, what do you guys think? Is there enough decks where one mana spells are good enough to take a loss on the board? Yeah, it's good for Quest Mage. Oh, I didn't even West think about Mage? that. Oh. oh, now we're thinking. Like really good in quest mage, oh, but other wow. than that, I don't think it sees any play. It's meme, right? Kind of memeish. It's super memeish, yeah. But if I it makes art. quest mage work, then it's really good because yeah. it's got this has got zero with sorcerer's apprentices. So you get to save them, you just hold bananas in your hand, and then you get to go like banana, oh, banana, wow. banana, 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 glyph spell, your quest is done. You literally get to go bananas. Yeah, you go bananas on them. <laughs> so okay. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll say meme here. What do you guys think? Is quest mage gonna be a thing? Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna say it's probably meme. I'm gonna say meme. Oh, but I know what I'm playing. I'm, day I'm, one. I'm hoping quest mage isn't a thing. Buffoon <laughs> mage. I'm, I'm not even. Crazy. It's not even quest mage anymore. It's just buffoon mage. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go through these pretty quick. Spell zerker has spell damage plus two while damaged. Uh, just a two mana two three. It's. Mm, uh, I it doesn't seem bad. Two mana, two three is okay. It's a good it's, arena card for sure, but I don't, good enough for to play in mage. I think I don't know. I don't know if you'd put it in mage necessarily, but yeah, I hey, maybe you do just put it in mage. Mage has some great ways to. Maybe I think it's definitely just like a good card. You always storm. have to consider it when you're just looking at your range. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of competition. It's yeah. not a great card, but like it competes with <laughs> basically Keliseth yeah. and Bladed Beetle at this point, you know? <laughs> okay. So yeah. if you're a non keliseth deck, maybe you run it. Yeah. I'm going to say keep. There's some spell damage synergy in right these days, like with, with aggro decks and whatnot. It's really good with Shooting Star against Aggro. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep or Gnus? Keep. I'm going to keep it. I think it'll sometimes see play somewhere. All right. Cool. Uh, Dozing Marksman, two mana, zero, four, has plus four damage while damaged. Well, <laughs> it can't really damage itself. <laughs> so, uh, I guess if you ping it, you use two mana. You ping don't, you're telling me, you're telling me, Chamber, you don't want to play this on turn two as warrior and then play a frothing and interrage this bad boy and get him. <laughs> We're bringing Pyre Warrior back. We're just bringing it in a new oh, direction. Um, no, I, I'm dusting this one. <laughs> <laughs> Dust across the board. Yeah. Uh, okay, cheaty ankle biter. <laughs> two mana, two one life steal, deal one battle cry, deal one damage. Hmm. I don't, I don't it's know. It's okay, but it's not, like, good enough. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Corpse Taker is a thing, so maybe you put this in your deck with Silix, but... Uh, yeah, it's yeah garbage. it doesn't sound good. Yeah, I mean, but there's been a bunch of decks that run Corpse Taker with, um, like, Vicious Scalehide as the second lifesteal. Ooh, a top of Zillix. So, like, that's the only place I can see it seeing play, but I think for the most part it's dust. Yeah. All right, I got it down as dust. All right, another egg. Two mana, zero, two, summon, one, one. Death Rattle summon a 3 1 1 Scarabs. Nah. I think this card has potential. 
That, I think it's the egg warlock zoo thing with the the new yeah, yeah. oh bloody zoo thing yeah oh right 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 Dave, the I mean, one maybe minute just... oh wow no you wouldn't play this in hunter would you probably not yeah, I mean it curves out with terror scale just... that's kind of cute maybe you play with terror scale and sea giants and stuff I think cards oh good. I think the card's really good too really three bodies wow. for two mana is insane I mean you think about it like haunted creeper right like haunted mm -hmm. creeper was the exact same as this card. Um, the only difference is Haunted Creeper could attack, and this one summons you one more 1-1 one, one than Haunted Creeper does. Yeah, but you so it technically has more stats than Haunted Creeper. You want for even shaman. Yeah. You play this, and then you play Flame Tongue, and then you trade, and then there's oh like, my oh, god, that's crap. disgusting. Oh yeah, this that, that's good. That's much better good. than Haunted Creeper. It's just more that's stats good. than Haunted Creeper. That's yeah. disgusting. It's that's a three three point. and an O two, so it's like a three five for two mana. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. Good with like <laughs> you can do it and stuff. Like that. <laughs> you have flame talk on the board. Your one ones are all beside it, just ready to trade up into everything. Oh, I know that's pretty <laughs> sick, yeah. actually. It's like one of the best cards of the set is the scarab egg. Really? Wow. Okay. I agree with that. That card's yeah, that, nuts. That, I mean, those examples you gave are super good, <laughs> crazy good. Um, all right, last thing: helpless hatchling, the cute mascot i think of this set a one mana one one beast death rattle reduce the cost of the of a beast okay why is one. this a beast this is clearly a dragon yeah. that's good point good point i'm i cannot vote for this card solely off of you know not being able to I mean, understand it, it could be a wing dino it's no isn't a wing dino just a dragon <laughs> another point to the scarab egg card scarabs are yeah, usually beasts yeah. Oh, scarabs are typically beasts if we've ever learned about scarabs. So yeah, like off of Spreading Plague and stuff like that, they're beasts. So the scarabs should be beasts from that, so it's even more broken. But yeah, I think Helpless Hatchling is a meme card. Yeah. That makes sense. Is there any like beast you could reduce in your hand that would like be worth like like you know how like Mechathune you reduce it and it's like nuts because you can do cool stuff oh, with it? Five mana high main? <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, um, you're selling me. You're selling me. You can reduce the cost of like Hedronox, right? So yeah, Hydronox is the big one. But uh, I mean, this you, isn't this isn't that expensive, you know? Like this isn't that much of a. I mean, there's not great one mana plays, anyways. So it, it wouldn't be the end of the it's world that, to have to play this. It's so bad. It's worse <laughs> than Galvanizer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about my boy helpless hatching like that. He's all trying. All right, man. all right. We're gonna go meme just because he's so cute. All right. I think we got through them all. Man, let's see. Let me tell this puppy up. Let's see. We've got... Oh, 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 oh sorry. Oh, messed up there. Hold on. God, I keep doing that. I keep always misclicking on that. Um, all right. So we've got... All right. How many memes we've got here? Four, we've got Firebat with seven memes. Actually, we all have seven memes. Seven memes all together. Uh, Firebat, you've got... Oh, it looks like you've got 19 keeps. 23 dusts. Jace has 17 keeps, 25 dusts. And I have, uh, looks like 21. And uh, whatever, <laughs> one less than that, whatever it is. So I, I, I'm the only person that has a, one more keep than, than dust. So, um, okay, not too bad. That's a pretty good ratio, to be honest. Given that the, that the last group of cards are usually the ones that have a bunch of junk in them, right? Like they don't, they don't hype up a lot of these these neutral cards that are zero fours and stuff like that. I don't know. The neutral cards always catch you off guard. Like, there's always that one neutral card you look at and you're like, "Oh my god, why didn't they announce that earlier?" Like that card's like, for me, that was small time Buccaneer during uh, Main Streets of Gadgetland. Like that card, like didn't get announced anywhere, and then you just saw it come up on like Hearthbone's website, and I was like, "Okay, that's insane." Yeah, but we're all like, we all are probably wrong. Yeah. Judging by like just <laughs> yeah. of the playability of what percent of each set is actually playable, we should all we're all vastly overestimating the set. You yeah. Know? Well, I, and and you know what's crazy is that when you say vastly over overestimating, you're probably meaning that there should be a lot more dust than there should be keeps, right? Yes. And, yes. There should be and, way more dust than yeah. keeps because only like the top five percent of cards actually see play. Right. So, right. And. Uh, I mean, in the previous weeks that we've reviewed them, I mean, I think there were more keeps than there were probably were dust. So, oh. yeah. So yeah, I, 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 this set's crazy. It's this a set, good set. This set's crazy. Let, yeah. It's like way more powerful. Right. I mean, so I guess that, that leads to the question, do you guys think this will have, this will shake up the meta? I mean, because yes. the, the, last, the last expansion has the hardest time, right? Like, 
uh, just because there's just so many, the percentage of cards that, that, you know, the new set actually is, is the smallest percentage. So, but you guys think it will? Yeah, they pushed a lot of decks yeah. really hard in a lot of directions. So, like, there's just, like, different archetypes that you can see coming out where you're like, yeah, clearly this is going to be pretty good and worth trying. Whereas, like, the last few sets, they didn't really have, like, hard pushes in any directions. Mm -hmm. And they, they were just kind of more just, like, kind of figure it out. This one is, like, they clearly wanted you to make this style of deck and this style of deck and this style of deck and this style of deck, which is, it's cool. It means we see a lot of the new cards see play, but it also means, like, it's kind of clear where what direction you kind of want to build all of the decks already. You're right, but you know we're obviously the first week or so you're going to see all these new decks kind of pop up. But then we're going to always see it, it, that that kind of you know circle or cycle where it comes back to okay now we got to compare this to Malagas Druid and Death Rattle Hunter yeah. and you know, like and, and then we have to see like how it actually measures up. So um, I think that's the part that'll be interesting. No question, the mechanics are like power level of these new mechanics are, are really good and uh you know hoping it definitely shakes things up but um going over maybe we'll take a couple questions before we do i just want to give a quick shout out to our patrons that support the show you guys um are awesome and amazing and you know are still like the you know main support for our, our show and if you want to support the show go to value or patreon.com slash value town and throw a pleasure away because it really uh helps in a, a great deal so big shout out to our, our legendary producer mike t and uh, some of our other patrons, Radan, Bryce L, Vince, Vincent G, Dan S, Scott L, Grant A, Edo, Lee D, Eric F, Danny H, Code Chemist, Roger F, Richard M, and Gary D. You guys are amazing. Awesome. And uh, going into some of these questions that we've got, we've got uh, Mr. Epic Dutch from Twitter. He asks, here's a question for Firebat. Will he be doing more role-playing on stream like with the bow and arrow when the warrior whip? Oh, man. Yeah, when the warrior whip weapon comes out wait did we talk about oh, the warrior God. cards we didn't talk uh, about the warrior cards did we i don't think we did oh, i think we skipped over the warrior dude okay we got we got at least bring right. up that i have to go to the washroom really quick yeah though. go for it go for it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. dude that just reminded me yeah we didn't even talk about this this overlord whip this is like such an awesome thematic card like it's it's so well named it, it, compared to what it does <laughs> Because <laughs> after you play me, because it does damage to your minion yeah. every time. Oh, that's such a good, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the beast eating crab. What do you mean? Where's our beast eating crab? Oh, no, we don't have that. <laughs> yeah, we're never getting that. That yeah. thing rotated a while ago. Yeah, it's called Hammett. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Hammett. That's <laughs> uh, uh Let's see. Did, 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 I guess it was right. Hem is yeah, Hem next to worry. Yeah, the very first one. All right. Yeah, these these warrior cards are pretty good. Uh, at least the um, at least we're seeing some more dragons. You know, like I, I, I still don't think we've seen enough dragons. Like I have to say, one disappointing thing for me seeing the rest of the cards today was that there weren't more dragons. Like I was expecting really? to see at least. Three I feel like or four. we've had enough of dragons. Really? I think there's enough to make odd warrior work. Okay, I think I know, you only need like six or seven, and I think there's around that number exactly of playable dragons. Okay. Yeah, given that the Shield Maiden dragon itself is a dragon, is a big help towards that. Yeah, that's true. All right. So speaking of that that question, and Overlord's Whip, which is a three mana two four weapon, uh, common after you play a minion, deal one damage to it, which I think is like a, an awesome name for this. But yeah, are we going to be seeing any kind of cosplays with that whip and some maybe? Maybe S and M action here, or you know, like oh. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe. <laughs> maybe. I mean, there's no immediate <laughs> plans, but things could happen. Stream, I don't know. stream goals, right? <laughs> there's no immediate plans, but things. That's yeah. how life works. Things just happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this weapon, I don't like it. It's no, it's, it's a two attack, you know, yeah. two attack weapon. We no. talked about this a lot. Like, it, if you're gonna play a two attack weapon, you need ways to, you know. Mm -hmm. he capitalized. No, Warrior has a few ways to ping things off with whirlwinds and battle rages and things of that nature and you probably want to play um, inner rages in this deck that plays this weapon so like maybe it's useful but uh, I'm not a big believer in the tempo warrior damage your own stuff warrior deck I think it's always been trash and it's so far <laughs> probably need to be trash we have the spirit of the rhino the card next to it which kind of yeah. pushes that whole rush warrior theme but yeah. I'm still not a believer yeah, which the Spear of the Rhino, one mana, zero, three, rare. Stealth for one turn, your rush minions are immune 
the turn they they're summoned. That's pretty good. That that's going to be really good. that's going to be good for those one two three drops that they were trying to make work in Witchwood. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we're going to start seeing those cards pop up with this one. I actually still think Rush Warrior is so garbage that even with Spirit of the Rhino, <laughs> really buffing, okay, still not playable. Chase, what do you think, Rush Warrior? I don't know on Rush Warrior. Like I'm, I'm listening to Firebat right now, and I trust Firebat, and Firebat knows what he's talking about, and I'm sure Firebat's a man who's played plenty of Rush Warrior in his days. So I, I, no, Spirit of the Rhino is not enough. The deck's gonna be trash. Really, man. God, immune? God, those. I, I guess you, you are giving up that tempo. You can't play that one mana one, which is, which is a pretty important card, right? Like, isn't that one mana rush card? Like, draw rush cards or something like that. So, uh, or am I thinking of a two mana card? I'm, I'm trying to remember from. Is so town crier? Yeah, town crier, right? Town crier. Yeah, so there's, there's town crier and spirit of the rhino now, and that's yeah. about it. Is as rush for you. One of the biggest problems with the deck is um, it doesn't have a good finisher. Currently, they use like Grom and Lich King. You're Nest telling me yeah. Akali the Rhino is not a good finisher, Firebat? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? I don't think it's a great finisher for Rush Warrior. I think if we're going to see this card see play, it's going to be in Recruit Warrior because Recruit Warrior opens up a lot of uh, synergies yeah. with the card. You play the six mana Recruit a Minion, you get it out early, and it can actually overkill something and do the buff. You can also Dead Man's Hand it and start doing some weird stuff where it's recruiting itself mm. buffed and then recruiting another thing. So that gets kind of cool when you Dead Man's Hand it and stuff like that. So I think uh, it's a sweet looping finisher for Recruit Warrior. You know how many times I played Recruit Warrior, dude? Like, I would love to see that actually work, but I always it's, run run out of, you know, I either run out and just get pummeled because it just takes too many too many steps to actually, you know, get into the Dead Man Hands loop, or it just doesn't have enough, so... Okay, so what yeah. if we just play Dead Man's Hand Warrior with no minions in it, except for Kali the Rhino, and <laughs> then... Or let me phrase that. No, you can have minions. Just only, just only... The only rush minion is a Kali the Rhino, and then you Dead Man's oh, Hand God. the first one, get the other one, and then you keep Dead Man's Handing it infinitely, and eventually these rhinos just become massive. Just one, one turn kill? Well, you can't yeah. charge it, but yeah. Um, I think Recruit Warrior is still going to be bad. They didn't really... The finisher part of Recruit Warrior, I don't think, was the missing link. Um, I think the consistent survivability was the problem with the deck, and I still think that'll be a problem. So I think it'll be like a tier two deck, but I think Akali the Rhino is going to be in that deck. Yeah, it's too bad Akali's not odd, <laughs> but I think they did that on purpose. Akali the Rhino, by the way, guys, is a eight mana legendary 5 5 beast rush overkill, draw a rush minion from your deck and give it plus five plus five, which pretty Makes impactful on the rhinos. board. Crazy impact on the board. Uh, next card. This one is a cool card. Five mana, five. Wait, am I thinking? Oh no, I'm thinking of a different card. Five mana, five five dragon, ember scale dra drake. It's a rare card. Battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, gain five armor. So uh, yeah, it's kind of like card. yeah, solid card for sure. Very Are good you? card. It's yeah. like shield maiden, but yeah, better. shield maiden, but better. Yeah, shield maiden Cheaper. was very very good. <laughs> yeah, cheaper and it's a dragon too, which we need. Uh, last two that we saw today on this on the stream, there's spells. Uh, one mana devastate, deal four damage to a damaged minion, which uh, I think Firebat referred to before. And then two mana dragons were uh, common. Add two random dragons to your hand, mm -hmm. so uh, it can be any dragons, which we don't have that many dragons anyway. So you're not going to do too bad, I don't think, with that. Um, you can also get dragons across other classes too. So you yeah. can hit like a, you can hit like the hunter dragon, the ten mana eight eight. <laughs> oh yeah. Or you hit like dustbreaker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. now we're thinking. Yeah, that that'd be pretty. Well, yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. I would I would hate it if my opponent played this on two and just went coin dustbreaker against me. I'd just be like, wow, you're warrior. You needed more removal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Quick overlord whip. Nah, dust. Dust. Spear of the Rhino. You guys it's, dust, right? I, I'm, I'm going to dust it. Like, it's going to dust it eventually. Like, it's a piece to the rush package, but yeah. they don't have the rest of it yet. So it's dust for now, and then maybe next set, you know, reevaluate and see where it goes. I, I do think it's going to be a good card. It's a good card by itself, but it needs the rest of it with it. I mean, I, I think that I feel like the beginning and middle game for Warrior is pretty solid right now. They just need to figure out what the win condition is for, for Warrior. That's mm -hmm. the, that's the toughest part right now. Uh, that's not odd, you know. It's not 
Odd Warrior win condition. Yeah. Um, all right, Kali. Dust. Uh, dust. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. so many legendaries for Warrior that are just dust. It's like so frustrating. Um, Ember Scale, Drake. That's a keep. Keep. Huh. It's pretty tough right now to play it in Odd Warrior and have it work. But eventually it'll work in Odd Warrior. Right now there's just not that many odd costed dragons. The best dragons are all even costed, you know, when you look at uh, Primordial Drake and Twilight Drake. So, you know, it might force Warrior not to be odd. But um, yeah, eventually it's it, fine. It, it, the Odd Warrior, it'll be insane. Yeah, I mean, for sure later on, like the, the four armor is not going to matter, right? Like if it's, if they finally come up with some kind of tempo-based endgame, then we don't really need that hero power to... To, to go Baku, right? Um, all right, Devastate, four damage. Yeah, that's, that's a good card. It's really good. That's key. That card's insane. Yeah. You, it's removal that you can play in Odd Warrior, so it's really, really good. Yeah. And then Dragon Roar, add two random dragons to your hand. I like it. I that think it's is okay. dust. <laughs> that is dust. Really? Uh, dust. I, I, I think it's okay. I mean, eventually, whenever we have, when we when we need dragons, whatever, but. Um, okay, cool. Last, uh, let's see, just to kind of wrap things up, one last question from Jason R. What card was the biggest bust of Boom's Day? The card all the pros thought would be good, but ended up just blowing and just being bad. Um, oh, God, I have to look at Boom's The one Day. mana right. gained two mana crystals card. Oh, yeah, Project. Oh, uh, the project. The, the biology the, project. The, biology, biology project. Yeah. And uh, Floops, Glorious Gloop. Glorious Gloop, Gloop is another yeah, one. Floops. Uh, yeah, Lady and White was a huge bust too, but I don't know if you guys said it was good or not. I'm gonna quickly right. look through and see uh, if I see anything that like no, I Floop, consider Floop. Everybody thought Floop was gonna be amazing, like and so... Floop was, but not the Gloop. <laughs> not not, yeah. not the oh Floop, but not Gloop. Yeah, not Gloop. I guess yeah. you could consider OTK Priest kind of. I I, I don't know maybe. Oh, oh, Lady and White was from Witchwood. My bad, guys. Uh, yeah, what else was from? God, I mean, yeah, I need to see that list. Link me that list. From uh, well, let me look at all of Boomsday. There weren't that many cards, to be honest, that a lot of people thought were going to be crazy. Good yeah, Boomsday was really almost everyone saw it. Said like every card was going to be bad for Boomsday. So you know. maybe War Gear. I, mean, I think a couple of people I mean, said War Gear was going to be good. What is your take on? Boom, like Dr. Boom, actually. I mean, I, I, obviously we're all playing it. I I think I it's... thought it was going to be bad, and then it was good. Okay. Yeah, I thought Dr. Boom was going to be, like, fringe, and it's actually, like, almost every warrior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... Turns out the hero powers are actually just that good. Like, giving your giving your mechs rushed was, like, insane. Like, and we, like, I don't think many people realize that. I mean, yeah. is, is it really that, or is it just the hero power? I mean, the hero power I mean, because like, warrior wants to clear so the board good. constantly... And if you have your mechs have rushed, you literally your opponent literally never has a board. Yeah, having all your mechs have rushed is really, really, really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely super awesome. Um, I think it was hard for people to evaluate that when they couldn't really like there was nothing like that in the game. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of looking through the list. That, that's I don't know. There weren't I didn't really have that high expectations for any of them to be honest. It's kind of amazing. Yeah, we pretty much all thought everything was going to be terrible, and then it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know I what Blizzard was thinking. I used like to that. say that, like, but you know, it's like the mech thing was. Thunderhead. Just... I thought Thunderhead would be good. It's probably going to be good now. I still think Thunderhead is good. It's just like well, it doesn't have a deck to be played in. Well, I mean, I, I, oh, I mean, Thunderhead's played Ike's deck, right? Shaman deck. Yeah, yeah. but Ike's Shaman deck is. I got some he words no to say about Ike's Shaman no deck. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Uh, kind of scrolling through the rest of these. Anything else that sticks out? Uh, Luna. The, the only, there wasn't Luna's that many okay. that stuck out because I think I think Boomsday was like Just, one of the weakest power level sets we've had. And yeah, I mean th these cards. I mean, I don't think these cards. Electra. Okay, Electra is a good example. I, I think these cards are still solid pieces. It's just, I mean, just had had like nothing like power level wise compared to what was currently in the meta. So that's... Tiliax was absurdly powerful. Yeah, I think Zilliax. it would be good, but nobody thought it was going to be game breakingly powerful. Zilliax yeah. is 5% of decks right now. Zilliax is just in every deck. It's because it's, it's a good, I mean, it's a good form of, I mean, it's, so it's one rush minion that, that's kind of across the board. And, it and two for too. ones almost all yeah. the time. 
Like, it's just always heals, two too. for ones. I mean, heals is freaking great. Heals it, what about Solarium? Yeah. You guys think that was going to be good? It yeah. was good. And I think it's still good, yeah. yeah. In Zoo. I mean, it's like the 30th card, but yeah. it's in there. <laughs> is it? I heard people dropping that a little bit, no? Maybe yeah. people overhyped Pogo Hopper a little bit. Some people did. We all knew that was going to be trash. But I think most <laughs> people thought it was going to be trash. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, well. almost all the Boomstay cards are in 3% of decks or less. Like, that's where they kind of... Like, yeah. the, the ones that are played are in only 3% of decks or less. So they're, like, even niche for the most played Boomsday cards, whereas, you know... It's crazy. They're in, like, 0% of decks. Under 1% of decks is for almost every Boomsday card. It was like, just yeah, been super. Yeah, we've definitely yeah. run their stats on that. Like we, we did an article at one point, I think, with uh, a Baney, like showed just how little impact <laughs> this this uh, yeah. Boons Day expansion had compared to past ones. You know, with, with the same position, right? Same same position Whereas, of the year. So I think Blizzard maybe felt that, and like they they may have overcompensated. Now <laughs> <for that. laughs> oh, there's like tons of cards where it's like this is just clearly well, good you know so. it, it's like good and bad because it's just like I, I think they needed to knee-jerk react a, a bit because it you know it was getting out of control i think especially with, mm -hmm. with the competitors starting to to release their Clean. products yeah but you know like when the reset happens i was like really excited to see what a lower power hearthstone looks like you know and hmm. i think druid still <laughs> needs some some like nerfing if they're gonna really try to get to a lower power. I think level. this set is but good. I just it's... I still agree that like Druid, yeah, needs something yeah. to like. I think I think it's gonna be insane. It's too many classic cards and you know cards that are gonna Spreading be sticking around. Good, yeah, especially if, like uh, we start having like a more tokeny meta. But uh, like mages innervate and stuff like that might be able to be enough mid rangey presence sort of decks that can kind of beat up Druid. To me, it looks like a lot of the. Cards for the new set point towards mid range decks. Like, I think the heal paladin yeah. turns into a hey, dual mid range zoo kind of deck. That'd be so great. I'd love to a see lot that. Of that sort of things that'll punch up some druids. Yeah. Less <laughs> single player decks and more mid range decks. I'm all for that, man. That'd be awesome. Um, all right, guys. Well, I think that's we did it. We got through them all. I know it's a long show. Thanks, guys, for for sticking through it with us and uh you know dr j firebat thanks for for doing this y'all's insights obviously amazing and and i uh, love having you on the show so uh you know thanks for doing that you want to do some shout outs jace you want to start um i don't have any shout outs just go follow me on twitter follow me on myspace i don't know you're, you're, just... gonna, be an event. you're gonna be an event this week right like uh yes i will be doing i will be casting wsg toronto or wsg canada sorry and it's just the Canadian qualifiers to see who goes to uh, China to compete in April, I believe it is. I will be doing that this weekend, and then I most likely will be at HCT Philly, but I have no clue on that yet, um, so stay tuned. But thanks for having me on the show, Chan. I really appreciate it. I always love doing the show. Yeah, man, anytime, of course. And Firebat, man, it's yeah. been a while, so it's not happy to have you on. Yeah, it was nice to come back on the show after not being here for a while, and then... Um, if anyone wants to see more of my card reviews and stuff like that, make sure to check out my content. I am about 70 cards behind, but I do I take a lot, lot today. Of so, I yeah, yeah. Card individually, and then I have a bunch of images that pop up that I talk about. I try yeah, and do as Yeah, it takes a while to do that. Card. And yeah, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on after this to try and get caught up because there's been so many cards that came out. But yeah, it was nice. Uh, now I have even more information to build off of for my other reviews because I have Chan Man's opinions and Dr. J's opinions yeah. that, you know, I get a, they, they influence my own opinion. So it'll be cool. Awesome. Uh, and uh, those of you that, you know, might not have caught all the show, you can always catch the show on uh, youtube.com slash Chan Man V and and um, you can find it on all the audio outlets, iTunes, Spotify, uh, SoundCloud.com, and, and Android. Um, you know, the show is sponsored, obviously, by, or it is an hsreplay.net show, of course. So you can definitely, uh, 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 well, you should go over to hsreplay and just get the best stats. You know, the beginning of the expansion is always the best time to check out, like, I think just the fresh stats, like, right off the bat. And hsreplay is always awesome about getting it done we do it so fast it's like crazy like we usually have stats up on the site probably 10 hours 8, eight to 12 something somewhere in there i mean i have to like <laughs> confirm with the engineers but we get that we get those puppies up like really really fast so definitely check that out sign up for premium if you want the, you know all the best stats and uh we'll be launching a, a pretty cool feature this week too so um be on the lookout for that 
But um, that's going to be it, guys, for Value Town this week. So get your Rastakhan Rumble, you know, pre-bundle and start buying packs because you know by next week we're going to be talking about decks. So for uh, Doctor Chickeninky, Chickeninky, <laughs> Fire Bat and myself, <laughs> yeah, Doctor J, <laughs> Fire Bat and myself, Chan Man B. We'll see you next week. Later. Bye, guys.